No, this is a bad <laughs> Oh, no. If you can hear us and see us, and uh, also make sure you let us Whoa, know yeah. if any of us are quiet and we'll adjust our microphones. <laughs> we, we've been giggling, <laughs> we won't explain why. Um, dude, ass hair so thick, my diaries filtered water. <laughs> That's the horrible thing, you made me think of. No, <laughs> I can't begin like that. Oh. God, this peanut butter is really freaking hidden. Right now. Welcome to Lord Grimes. <laughs> you want to thank you for coming. <laughs> Welcome to your peanut butter ASMR. <laughs> well, oh, my lord. With that oh. said, um... we have something serious to discuss, though, and serious to argue about today. Which, um, uh, Lord have mercy. It's our, you know, hear our prayer. It's some God, boys. <laughs> We have we have to pick favorites. <laughs> God <Godric> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Man. Chad is just like slander calling for half the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, there's a blanket under there. I have dogs that make it messy and I can't be bothered to make it. That's proper. what they all <laughs> say. <laughs> Listen, leave Colin and his corpse like there's a weird like spot in the middle where it's like poking up. So yeah. I will detoil. It's a fucking I will I'll, I'll scream. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, we're talking about gods. Um, and these guys have had silly juice and now <laughs> Colin's having a meltdown. Um Are we happy now? Yeah, we good? He's not You've done. trained it well to run away when you open the when you take the covers off. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we have a bunch of gods here, innit? Um, now, there's, we, we actually, the original list only had up to about here with the, uh, the Gene Stealers. It, ju- it didn't have any of the fantasy, so Colin has helped with adding these here. If we've missed any, you'll have to let us know. Uh, Colin said if he's missed any, he might also just at one point just go, ah, and then add, we'll add another one. Yeah. Um, but I think the, the, the best way to start this is, uh, with the Emperor. So I'm just going to put Emperor... All the way up here. Oh no, the he's argument's messes. already he's gonna start. Triple go. S, holy cow! Oh, all there right, that's the, yeah. I, absurd. No, that's not true. I, okay, okay, wait, wait. In 30k, I put him in like C tier, but in 40k, I do. I, I, I'm okay with him being in top tier. What's wrong with putting him? Because sisters of battle, he's not cool. even he's the top main tier. character of the setting. He doesn't give a damn about any of his followers. Sure, he's he an did. Asshole. He, he saves. He saves their souls. Yeah, he saves them so we can use them later. <laughs> but there's still he saves them from being consumed and tortured forever by the he chaos. He's not on the same good. tier as Sigmar. He is not on the <laughs> oh, same yeah. tier as Sigmar. He is not sad. Evil. You know what? I'll be sad. I'll be willing to concede and put him on the top of just one S. Because he's one pretty S. damn he did light Nurgle's garden on fire and told him yeah. to F off. So Yeah. yeah. yeah and Sigmar fought run pretty hard. Sigmar fought beings that would make the chaos gods afraid. Sigmar went, no, I'm still <laughs> fucking oh, back. Yeah, we just have to believe him, right? Kick the rat. <laughs> he, he said that. That's which, how which all things? of Warhammer works. We just have to believe it. <laughs> it's a tell don't <laughs> show setting. <laughs> to be fair, even when he wasn't a god, he clapped a Catan shard, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah. A shard. I love that. You know, you know Bro, I don't see you out here battling. You know who sharded a katan? Because it's not a human god. Who sharded uh... a katan? <laughs> oh, okay. don't, put my, don't put my katan in there, please. Uh... Um, right, so, yeah, I think that's a fair place to put <laughs> Keep your katan right. out of, out of um, your mouth. The Tau Va. Why is the Tau here? They don't have... It, there's a, I, I don't know weird... what they're trying to freaking do with the stupid plot line. It's I haven't even read the book. The Tau Va god is... It's the plot that... I think it's the, the fifth sphere expansion where yeah. they get lost. They, they essentially... The Tau currently just they... skip over the warp, like, like a stone, they skip over it. Mm-hmm. And then they had these new drives and went, oh, these are like way better than our last ones. We're going to go even further and faster. And then the entire like fifth, fifth sphere of expansion just like zipped out of existence. And they're like, oh, crap, it did not go well. Mm-hmm. And then they get, they get sucked into the warp. And then this multi-armed glowing deity, which they think was formed by the idea of the humans worshipping the greater good. Because that's how they, they worship the emperor. So they weren't used to the concept of the greater good being just like, that's just a cool idea, not we have to worship it. So they created like an entity in the warp that pushes them 
the fist sphere back into real space, and so the Tau have a like multi armed uh, deity now. So C tier. Yeah, I think it's dumb. <laughs> Can we put him in D? I think D is fine. They, like, it's like yeah, I don't I don't know how how it even like that. Uh, it's another it doesn't plot make enough, line that's it doesn't make enough sense to anywhere. me. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's not like billions or like trillions and trillions of humans are worshiping it, and it's like and now, a few planets are worshiping fair, clay statues, and that there's a if, god now all of a sudden. If Fenris can get its own world spirit, the Tau <laughs> can get theirs. <laughs> I uh, guess the, the whole point of the Tau is that they have no connection to the warp at all, though. Yeah, but they don't have no; they have a very <sighs> limited connection. Okay, you're right. You're right. Because right. they don't think too deeply about it. Just... Bro, I got a ruler. I swear it's six inches. Like, come on, Tao. <laughs> they kind of like. I guess. Listen, five inches is a lot. <laughs> yeah. I guess it might be even like, too much. The Tao like are basically constantly faded. If you know what I mean. But like, they're just not. They're not quite in the moment. But they're uh -huh. just. They're like. Oh yeah. They're... I don't know. They're, gods, they're... man. No, Tau, I, I just feel like their god would get beaten up by all the other gods at like god prep school. Or oh, okay, they here, here in the. In the Shadow Sun book, says Christopher, it destroys a Death Guard fleet and saves the Tau homeworld from being invaded. That sounds insane. I, <laughs> I have not read the Shadow Sun book, but I would like to. Mm. I don't know. I feel like Corn could do that on like a Tuesday. I'm just saying. Mm. Yeah, uh, D tier <laughs> appropriately though. D tier. Now, Games Workshop. Oh, <sighs> that's supposed a tough to be one. chaos please, undivided, please, or are we just who? going to call it Games Workshop? I think it's just yeah. Games Workshop. Well, um, from Mr. Idiot, we have five dollars. Thank you, Mr. Thank Idiot. You. I'd say Talva should be C tier just for pranking a Death Guard fleet to eternal warp damnation. That's funny, but why is it powerful <laughs> enough to do that? <laughs> because it's funny and fuck the Death Guard. Uh, oh, power levels. Um, I think Games Workshop, honestly, if we're talking about Games Workshop, I would put him in the like SSS tier because that's yeah. our current employment. Yeah, <laughs> it's, the, it's basically the entire universe. Yeah, um, but it goes down a few pegs because of the primaris lieutenant. So got SS. That makes yeah, sense. yeah. I, you kind of can't. I'm fine with that. Yeah, they can all lose some of the bad with it as well. Some of the bad. <laughs> some of the bad. <laughs> Speaking of some oh. of the bad, corn. <laughs> oh, come on, this this is a eighty. I think he deserves an eighty. No, no, he's not. He's come this on. is going to be controversial. Best life. Especially for me, I think it goes. Uh -oh. I think he gets an S. Jeez. Colin, you uh, think listen, it's an S? You who hate listen, Corn. I hate. I do hate him. But think about it. You go to Corn for one reason. You want to mm -hmm. hurt people. You want to hit people. He gives you everything you need to hit people. He's mm. not a good god. He's not nice. <laughs> but it's a very you know mutually mm -hmm. beneficial relationship. And he's the chaos god that's least likely mm. to turn you into soup. Lest yeah, we forget he... <laughs> um, the orc that he resurrects every day as well. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, Tusker. Oh, Tusker. Yes, Tusker. He's like living hate... his best possible life, more so than if he worshipped Gork and Mork. So that's amazing. Yeah. No, I the... hate him. True. I hate All his character. Or <laughs> every character corrupted by corn is boring at that point. Though. That's not a I slight mean, against corn. No, he, yeah. he gives them what they need. You want to hit people? Let me help you hit yeah. people. He's, it's not as a god. As vanilla. He's like top tier cart door style vanilla. Like it's got yeah. just yeah. enough vanilla pods. It's quite satisfying. And it's just vanilla, but that's okay. To be fair, vanilla. to be fair, uh, most of the characters corrupted by the chaos gods, other than like Aramon, are mm. very boring because yeah. GW just can't write them. It, yeah. It's the end of an arc. They've reached their yeah. arc of becoming who they are they've in 40 lost. Yeah, they've they've lost, and now they're the, on the bad guys' side. It's, Chaos sucks in 40k. I have a I favorite mean that, faction, but they the, suck. The recent Angron part where Korn channeled all his power into one of Angron, one of Angron strikes and it literally splits a planet in two. And it, boy, cool. it eviscerates Angron in the process. <sighs> so. And then he loses to the lion. Woo! Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who saw that coming? I did. <laughs> I'm, I can settle with that. You can't match uh, Korn <laughs> with antisocial behavior disorders. I know. <laughs> He's just like, I don't like anyone, and I've got oh a Good old lion. Try to give Chaos one W challenge. Impossible. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, speaking, speaking of Edge Lords, uh, who's this? Oh, I love him. I love Whoa, him. I'm, I want to be insufferable. I'm insufferable. He's S tier. He's canon, guys. He exists. He's he's yeah, he's there, guys. He's coming. He's he was in he was on Battle of Acadia, guys. <laughs> the sons of Malice are real. Yeah, bro, Malo's coming back any day now. I don't understand how <laughs> licensing works. 
<laughs> have you, Eli? Have you read He's... the book with him in it? This with the sons of. I, I, it's like it's like one little part. I know. <laughs> so I have read that short story, and by the way, the only thing that ever happens in it is basically they end up summoning oh, him at the end, and he that's it. He there's no there's no. Yeah. You don't uh, know yeah, anything. Yeah. Basically Ma- like... Malice is Malice is real. Malal's Malal's not real. Malice is real. I think Malal they, is owned by a different right, let's... copyright. Malal's the fantasy yeah, Malal one that they was... retconned. Malal was made by um an independent artist, and I guess because of the way English laws work in that regard, he kept his stuff once he stopped working with mm. GW. Yeah, mm. yeah. He so they had to pay him royalties, so that's why they don't bother. Which is and yeah, I, fun I, fact. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's up, Eli? No, no, I want to hear your fun fact. Obviously, they oh. could still use him, but that would mean GWA has to pay for the privilege and <laughs> yeah. doesn't have ironclad control oh, over their gosh. IP. So you're that's talking not about happening. you're talking about the company that did A Elves or Dwarves. Yeah, Elves, Elves, oh, and tried man. to sue someone for using the word Space uh, Marine. The Sons of Malice are cool Space Marines. They're a cool Chaos Space Marine warband. It's not, if it goes above a C tier, I will actually riot. Oh, come on, it's honestly, it's he's Chaos. He's lit, but he's Chaos. He's what chaos should be. He's the he's the uh, contradictory force that no, makes sense for he's chaos. He's like a perpetual right. child who basically says uh, he's been complaining about not getting candy the entire time, and then when he gives <laughs> when then when you give him candy, he's like, "Well, I didn't really want it in the first place." Oh my Malal, gosh. Malal is already like a B tier at best, and Malice is just we have Malal at home. Uh, come on, <laughs> C tier. Malice is cool. We have to be more strict. It's C tier. Uh, come on. No, we okay. No, we don't. We do. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a boss. We can well, do he's we A tier for me. Sons of Malice have one of the coolest color schemes too. So whatever. It's... That's not Malice. That's his. That's his kids. Uh, but his kids are cool. Uh, all I've all I will Nurgle. offer to this is Malol, Malol who? Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, Nurgly Burgly Boo. D tier because he's gross and icky. He is icky. No, yeah, but he is, his, his Space Marines are cool. But hey, if I can't use the Sons of Malice as an example, then we can't use Although, Death Card. Well, let's just say, I'll say his, <laughs> his corruption is cool. <laughs> Nurgle corruption does yeah, make the setting into so much pus coming out of every. I feel like it's so. I feel like you see it so it's often cool. though. Instead of they, they they use Nurgle as the most common enemy, it feels like with chaos. I don't know why. But that's not but his fault. No, it, it started in like the end times, I feel like, because that was Nurgle's mm. time to shine. And then, uh, yeah. you know, to there's a fair, Death Guard Mortarian. To be fair, Harry Valentine just mentioned he has a pet Eldar god that goes up another notch in my book. Yeah, uh, he has Isha in the jar. That's true. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's... Gotta, when I gotta respect this logo, the hustle. The jar keeps under his bed. <laughs> I don't respect uh, that hustle. <laughs> when I look at this logo specifically, do you know, like, the octopus enemies in Mario and Zelda? I just see this. Yeah. Like, two eyes in the mouth. He's <laughs> um, going... So I'm gonna, works. I'm gonna argue that he's better than he. He has to be higher than Corn. Just simply for the no, fact that no, he doesn't. No, Nurgle I, is, in, and, is interesting I, in the fact like he's just his body Nurgle. He's a oh. he's a sort of chaos god who's actually kind of like he's not a dick in a way. Yeah, yes, he, not, yes, he is. But yes, he is. He's a dick. <laughs> no, but like I'm not. No, I'm not falling for this. In, he is a dick. In his weird like. <laughs> In in his weird mixed up paradigm though, he thinks he's being re. He's like, oh, I'm the bringer of you know life and death and stuff like yeah, that. He's, it he's just looks a little weird. odd. To the me. the farseers who went to rescue Isha, he petrified them, and the line in the oh, the, so the personal, lore entry <laughs> specifically <laughs> says he enjoys their suffering. He is a dick. <laughs> their suffering makes his walks through his garden so much better. He's a I dick. Mean, okay, I, I I would say oh. let, let's put this into perspective. Just comparing Corn and Nurgle. If I'm playing Dark Souls and I want to throw my controller across the room, I get some relief after throwing it against the wall. When I get food poisoning, I just suffer. So I'm going to say he's not as good as Corn. Yeah, okay. I also but he, he turns your suffering into enjoyment, though. Instead, I, I raised you. Is, I raised right? you one story, which was <laughs> the I had Imperial, <laughs> the Imperial Captain or Commerce, however, in front of Typhus. And Nurgle proceeded to give him his personal attention. So he aged the man, filled him with oh, pus, yes. inverted him through his own anus, folded him, aided him a thousand, yeah. gave him every disease known to man, basically made him into a sludge wow. puddle, and did all of this in between <laughs> between the uh, but in front of some of the death guard. They basically went, "That is insane! Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. that's." 
pretty. This isn't crazy. the guy in the Godlight books who gets like folded gentlemen. I feel and folded like and folded and folded and folded. Corn and doesn't invert people from their anus backwards. Okay, <laughs> no, he just. Has but like... corn's not. I like. I. I... I would rather choose Corn than Nurgle. I, I, I would say, what what is the criteria we're judging by? Is this who we think would be best to worship or just coolest? I think it's just all of the above, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, that's, that's hard. I, mm. no, because Nurgle's the choice of all the Chaos Gods. Nurgle's the one where you don't, feel, if you worship him, you look disgusting, but you uh, don't feel pain I, and you can't smile yourself. But I don't know. If you worship uh, the Emperor, you're not like bleeding out of every orifice. I, like, yeah. no, but you, no, but if you're and you can corrupted by Nurgle, you don't feel that. Like it's, yeah, it's but if you get pleasant. cut off from the warp, how all of that feels pain. if it looks bad. Yeah, it yeah. happened yeah. once. It happened. <laughs> 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 if the neck runs around, it can happen again. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Also, That's true also Nurgle, the, the new, the new yeah, look for but... Nurgle, I find very cartoony and goofy looking. He's always it, been a bit goofy, compared... hasn't he? No, but the, the old stuff is still like it's still scary, and but it's it's scary and fun at the same time. But now I just think it all looks kind of silly. Oh, I'm not going to win anymore, so we'll leave it yeah. there. <laughs> I know. Nurgle is smelly and he needs some. Uh, yeah. Get him in the wipes. <laughs> Put him out. Dirty. Slash his S tier, please. Triple, please, S-tier. please. Triple yeah, S-tier. I'll, yeah, oh, baby. Yeah, go. baby. Yeah, you go. The, the degenerates are talking. <laughs> okay, know. okay. I mean, logically, logically, Slanesh should be the most powerful god. GW is just stupid. Because every <laughs> worshipping every other god is doing something in excess. <laughs> Which would in turn fuel uh, Slanesh's stuff, but GW doesn't understand that, and so they just uh, yeah whatever. Yo, that's They're not facts, stupid. Though. They want they want to keep their their younger audience <laughs> and the god of being a horny. Can I offer isn't... one oh, thing? Oh man, though. also uh, well, yes, Andy. Slanesh is technically born from elves, so I want to put it down one notch. Because oh, sad, sad. Oh, Slanesh also sad. looks the coolest by far. Bye, for the demons are pretty slick. I won't lie. And the freaking the old chaos space marine noise marine art type stuff is so yeah. cool. Yeah, to be honest, oh, the man. noise marine is way cooler than a plague marine. Yeah, that angry. freaky picture of the noise marine is one of my favorite artworks in 40k. You probably know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Ridiculous has a question for you, Eli, and a ten pound donation. Oh, thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm really oh, sure. Right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, sorry I was late, but I wanted to ask a question for Eli. Can there be a slanesh warband obsessed with silence? I asked this because I'm autistic and was wondering which god would I fall under. And me too, buddy. Um, <laughs> pro- <laughs> I don't see why there couldn't be. I like that. You could take any obsession and make it a slanesh. But extreme mm. silence. Yeah. yeah I think so I, no I no imagine, sound ever. I don't the sons of malice like, do that? Wax and like pouring it into people's Yeah, ears the sons of malice don't talk. Yeah, so sons of malice sound. fight in silence. Yeah. And then they eat you yeah. afterwards. And so do the Karkarans. They <laughs> like, fight in silence, but it's loyalist, so it's cooler. Nah, 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 nah sharks nah, nah. aren't cool. <laughs> but um, thank, thank you for the ten European dollars, sir. <laughs> European dollars, <laughs> the <laughs> Euro bucks. <laughs> um, I just don't. Yeah. I just think being a Sunneshi worshiper, though, it like I don't want to. Orgasms. Be rubbed down raw to like. <laughs> <the whole thing. laughs> Just say, how oh, about it. don't kink shame? Yeah. <laughs> said that earlier. Uh, Slash is way cooler in in fantasy, though. I'll admit, because all actually all the chaos gods are way cooler in fantasy because <laughs> yeah. you can have positive you can have positive aspects. They're not just they're not just all soul damning terrible in fantasy. I, don't know. I, I mean, feel they like are. If I was so, well, yeah, that. but but you can still there's still like some of it like corn still has honor and slash yeah. is still about like perfection and like joy and stuff. Right? Oh, that's why I wanted corn but... to go down one because corn thing is about honor, but then but the he's not anymore because be, matter, sucks. Corn doesn't care where the blood is spilled from. Doesn't make sense because therefore yeah, he would I care know, if it was not from a worthy child. Yeah, it does. Oh, the way it works oh. is you need to fight the worthy opponents before you can go slaughter an orphanage. I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, if, if, the, if these, if you had a, like a disciple of one of these three at like a house party, I mean, the corn guy's probably going to be like head butting a wall all night, and that's quite fun to watch. <laughs> the Slanesh person is probably just going to be like popping off for five minutes for no reason that they'll explain. You're going, you. Uh, and Nurgle's then, like, sharting in the toilet. Uh, yeah, and then the Nurgle guy is just standing in the corner, and everyone's like, "Oh, he smells oh, bad." Man. So like, mm. no, it's just yeah. every aura. Noise marines are. They're noise all just like be. me. <laughs> <laughs> Noise Marine's got to be the coolest Space Marine uh, Chaos unit. Like, 100%, right? When the Emperor's Children release comes out, Eli, and they have new Noise yeah. Marines. Uh, when? Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> it's gonna uh, I was like, it, uh, yeah, that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> <laughs> you went through like it's, been, uh, it's, it's been 11, 11 years of me saying that, buddy. Mm. All right? Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh. You know it's serious when he says buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of buddy, we, hey buddy, we got. Can we let's round off the chaos boys? We got. Can Siege. we copy and paste scenes and just put them in S and D? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Because, dude, it is uh, nothing but highs and lows with Zinch. Yeah, seriously. I mean, like, like, Guy outsmarts like, himself all the time. We're all playing in his game and his world. We're all in Zinch's <laughs> universe. Allegedly. But then the downside is like, he's, on, he's always losing on purpose. <laughs> all right. Okay. What you were saying earlier. earlier. <laughs> it's true, though. Like, his whole thing is, I'm a scheme within a scheme within you know a scheme. What? Like, you're losing, bro. I you know. know it's going on. It's like, are you guys like, Eli and Colin, are you familiar with the show, uh, the show uh, University Challenge? No. It's <laughs> no, like a game show okay. where like loads of university people go and they like answer general it's knowledge. Show. It's quite difficult. Seench is the guy who sits at home, watches every episode, and goes, "I knew the answer to that. I knew the answer." <laughs> Shut up! Shut uh, up and watch it, or don't. Yeah. Also, so I can't leave my boy in <laughs> seats here. <laughs> He's also the worst one to worship. He, it always goes wrong. Mm. Like he he always trolls you in the end because that's just in his nature. Twice and he scuppered it twice. <laughs> At least put him <laughs> next to Nurgle. Come on, I he's not that. he's not the level of malice. I say also oh, how though you were you were saying you know oh, what is good. Sigmar's proof for fighting the <laughs> big monster? He said it. What's Zeech's proof for you know he controls everything? That is oh, true. Take, <laughs> take his word for it. <laughs> he's probably lying as well. <laughs> say like the well. god of lying. Uh, I mean so he, he did uh, he did trick him in throwing the hammer though. Did. We, Siege we, also did make the horse heresy I'm not, possible. Probably I'm not, I'm know, not saying that he doesn't have some damn good schemes. He does. I, I would be a liar if I said mm. he didn't. But then again, mm. also Nurgle was the one responsible for putting uh, Horus in a coma before that, and uh, mm -hmm. what's it? Um, yeah. Nurgle killed Carl. But if he didn't, if he didn't make Magnus do the thing, Istvan, yeah. Uh, if they didn't have Magnus in the Thousand Suns, well, they would have totally lost because the space yeah. was. Wouldn't have had to deal with it and blah blah yeah. blah. But anyways, we got a donation yes. from Zan Zero for twenty five dollars. Thank, Thank you, brother. You. Thank you very much. Love the channel, guys. Wondering if you guys would do anything Night Lords related. By far my favorite faction in forty k, and currently painting my thirty two fifty point army. Lamau, Ave Dominus Knox, and much love. That's an epic. It sounds Ave like Dominus an epic. Is fun. Um, uh, when we I'm sure we will Lords. do Night Lords at yeah. some point. I'm we'll just. I just finished all my research and I've got a video coming out in a couple of weeks. So I, I the knowledge is here. So uh, we could probably do, I don't know if we want to do, do we want to do curse? Well, we'll, we'll discuss that. Another we've time, still got to do the, the great crusade uh, follow up. It's, always the something to do. Wow, it's been a while. I think yeah. The next one is going to be what? Uh, is it space wolves, night lords and blood angels? So that would cover them to an extent. Mm. Um, That'd be cool. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We have unlimited things to get to. So. <laughs> It's a long, long, anyway. long time. It might actually be are, uh, Night Lords, Blood Angels, Iron Hands, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You, nice. you get the idea. Um, we do have NL next, Night uh, Necron Lords. Allegedly, it just <laughs> never happens. <laughs> to be fair, so push back and push back. Uh, uh, oh, we as got the Eldar as the resident uh, Eldar person, just put all of them yeah. and no idea who they are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do they get any lore? They're the Dark Muses. They're Shemish. they're. Super special, super degenerate dark elder. That is the end of their lore. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Hold on, I'm Colin. Here's some I'll like bet lore the master tower, trivia. Surely. What <laughs> separates Hecate from Vileth in terms of being I, you, degenerate? If you've looked it up, you you probably know more than me because I do not care about. <laughs> I haven't them. even heard these existed. I assume. Okay. Were, I assume they oh, were just man. like, are we like? Uh, Slanesh, he, but no, there's Hecatai in fantasy. They, 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 no, the, the dark Eldar don't like their gods, so they made they found just particularly awful dark Eldar amongst themselves and were like, We're gonna be like these guys. Uh, someone asked who's in Boy. D tier. D tier is the Tau entity that's in yeah. recent lore, Thing. like a multi arms. They... God Did they make thing. these guys basically gods, Colin? Or are they just are they still like walking I, around? I, no, I don't think they're around anymore because Vect calls himself a living muse, and he's like, "Yeah, that's how awesome I am." But uh, I think the rest of nice. them are they're like just they're idols. They're probably the old families mm. that Vect had killed off, uh, mm -hmm. in when he rose to power, and because they, they were mm -hmm. all when he rose to power in Comrade, they were ruled by all the nobles of like the previous Eldari Empire, and then Vect was a slave, and then he went. That's funny. I'm gonna have a go, <laughs> and then he kind of got them all killed on salamanders. Mm. I do like um, the, spiff, the the spliffing Brit just put the thing about the tower. I'm like this, but I like the way that because there's not a comma, it either reads the greater good god, right, or the greater good god, right? <laughs> good. <laughs> great Scott, great Scott. Uh, 
The next one, what is though, this? this is a Surian, if I'm right, Colin. Who? It is. Oh, he's cool. not. He's not he's in no Phoenix idea. Lord. He's a, he's a tier. Come on, Azerman's awesome. Azerman, <laughs> Azerman, Azerman. I think he's the chief deity of the Eldari pantheon. He's currently the god who basically yeah. looks at the modern Eldar and goes, "You disgust me." Did he? Sir, did he live? Me. Is he still alive? Uh, I mean, they're all he, like... technically in Slanish's gut, aren't they? <laughs> I I don't know, but I, I or is there like shards of him or something? There's a piece of him I, in Azerman's sword, he, something like, like that. I don't know. Gave like he gave the, what was left of his power to the Eldar race as a whole. He just mm. kind of tossed it out there. And then, yeah, like, has like, yeah, you know, yeah. he, uh, he, he, he's I'm the reason saying. you can't just go between the warp and the uh, real space. He just put up a big fucking wall. It was like, no, <laughs> you're not going past nice. anymore. Which is very handy for, we don't yeah. want them coming over this side. So, hey, he, he did that. That's pretty good. He built a uh, wall. What? He, he did. He built the wall also... to keep the demons out. <laughs> and uh, in fantasy, he had a big plan that had a 50-50 shot of either stopping chaos or dooming the world, and I think we uh, we know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did not mm. work. Oh, also, you're not convincing it, me that was A at this point. It's also implied that the Eldar <laughs> gods, they I don't know if this is in a fan, this might be a fantasy exclusive where um, they are essentially <laughs> beings that were left over from the previous destruction oh, of that's... the universe like how sigma mm. and that's Negash. fantasy yeah so i have i don't have think there's a very fantasy compelling one. comment though uh from timera saying Asurian goes in a tier because his name starts with an a that is a fair point maybe we can that's put it fair in enough there. works for he, me uh he, he likes to screw with zinch in fantasy although zinch never gets any <laughs> nice. love in fantasy so that doesn't really mean anything <laughs> Mm. Uh, what's this uh, thing? Harlequin. The Kegarak. Kegarak. He gets. He, he surely gets triple S. Guy just never loses. He, <laughs> he's he's funny. Yeah. Above <laughs> Slanesh. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, mean, I wouldn't. I, I like. I think Slanesh deserves triple S. But Kegarak just always takes W's every single time he's mentioned. So I mean, I'd I'd give him double S tier because all his W's are things that are what I like call away. GW GW Eldar W's. Yeah. It's a W, but it's a W that we all know will not amount to anything substantial. Yeah, Top of double fair. A. Uh, yeah. He's great, though. He got the Catan to eat themselves, so hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lol, lol, get Rex. Swap, he swapped uh, Fulgrim and the Khan, so the Khan grew up on Dragoris. Mm. That's yeah, true. Didn't yeah. So I'm you're right. Right. Hold on. He, He's responsible for Jagatai Khan. <laughs> yeah, I might say that. He's responsible for Jagatai Khan. Uh, hmm. until, until we find someone better than Kagarak, he'll stay up there. Um, we, oh my God, uh, we have another donation oh, no. from Zan Zero. Oh, thank you, thank you for the thank five dollars. Patiently waiting for GW to do Dark Elf faction in AOS. Me too, man. Malarians, the true Phoenix King, give him the respect. That's right, baby. That's you right. had me for the first half of that. <laughs> there's some strong opinions here on Phoenix King politics. Okay, Wait, there's some very strong opinions. <laughs> I don't. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't know if Dark Elves will ever get their own thing in AOS, but they must uh, do because money. Uh, they're well. They're in cities of Sigmar, and they they're in old world, but not well. They're a legacy book, and there's no characters. So like whatever. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. just looking Same. at the Eldar coming up. Can we do Kane first? Because these all don't sure. have pictures, and that's rubbish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Kane's D, right? I, he what? Shot uh, and he loses what? all the time. He's above the emperor. He's almost oh, as irrelevant so as mean. the Tamar. Come on, come is on, he above the emperor? He, yeah, I think he's he, pretty much the same thing as Korn. Like, look, you all uh, went. You know, what, what, who, he, the, well, not you all. Some of you yeah. went. The emperor, the emperor sharded. You know, he beat a Catan shard. He sharded. Yeah, Kane, he sharded. <laughs> Kane broke the Nightbringer into little pieces. I wish yeah, that Kane did also got Kane's some cool by, stuff. Like, a bunch of Ultramarines in the Hammer and Bolter. Yeah, but that's just that's not that's not his fault. Sounds good. <laughs> having a bad day. Kane is like the more interesting corn for me. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But then, and because the, there's different aspects of Kane, which was represented by all the Phoenix, uh, sorry, all the uh, aspect warriors, which is cool. Yeah. Avatar Kane he's is also dope. He's also much cooler in fantasy. He showed up exactly yeah. once as an avatar, and he broke a continent in half. Um, do we have cool. a fantasy version of him? No. I don't think we do. Okay. We just have Kane. Uh, I think yes. Yeah. Just top of S. He's better than S. He's better than Corn. Oh, come on. He's very Andy, more, Andy he's very more powerful. Powerful. Yeah, I was going to say that. I can yeah. accept him being lower than the Emperor because That's Games fine, Workshop fine. hates him. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The he only, is much cooler in fantasy, though. The only like mm. proper accurate representation of a uh, Avatar of Kane, I said this one before, which was it was based like apart from Calgar and Kato Sicarius basically backhanding one with no effort. <laughs> there was the Lorgar Horus Heresy um Aurelian novella where mm -hmm. he's going on his vision quest for chaos and he he's on finds gap, himself yeah. on a finds himself on a craft world that's basically been burned <clears throat> and broken ten thousand years ago. And there's a there's a absolutely destroyed the avatar yeah. of Cain that is barely it's like it's charcoal black and it's not even a flame really and it's got one leg like half broken. Mm. And Lorgar struggles against that. But he finally puts it but, down. But the that only should trouble, be the power test. The only trouble with that example, though, is what's the cover? It's Lorgar with yes, the Avatar yes, crawling the away from him, over, like yeah. on its like yeah. belly, as Lorgar looks at him with like disgust and looks kind of like I've just like clapped you with a backhand and you're crawling away from me. And that's what people are going to remember rather than the yeah. actual book. <laughs> yeah. Or, or Fulgrim punching one to death. Yeah. Big win. No, Big win. No, for I, the I, thought boys. He, I thought he choked it. No, he 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 beats it to death. He ah, doesn't, all right, yeah. that's a bit better. They weren't they weren't that bad with yeah. <laughs> yeah, still paying. Uh, well, I, mean, that's, I still, I, still don't like it, but you know it's better than him choking a statue. Can we put death. all of the Eldari in? No, 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 no idea. All right, B. Cobra. Apart from, Cobra, from, he, apart he, uh, from uh, the battle, wait, no. Hulk, all right, Hulk wait, is, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's my thinking. I'll put them here. You have to redeem them one at a time. Okay. Just so because look how many there are. Jeez. Can we get Can we get the hard one out of the way? Because the hard one's going to need me to do some pretend. This is a different god. Hoek. Can we pretend that name is Hoeth from fantasy? Where's the th? Or I pretend pretend it's there. Pretend the th is there. He <laughs> squeezed your eyes really tight. I'm not hearing a reason to promote him. He's a god of magic, and the elves are very magical, so he does good work. He has he has he has a computer in a fantasy setting. It's a magic computer. Right, I see. <laughs> at, at minimum, at maximum. Uh, you know what? Okay. Can we put Vol in A? Yeah, Vol's Vol Vol made cool, Vol's pretty cool. He, he made, made the Blackstone fortresses. Yeah. And stuff, oh, that's right? cool. Yeah. Right, cool. And he's uh... the origin of the Spirit Stones too, in a way. Mm -hmm. Who's Cobra <laughs> Kai? Who cares? Yeah, I, thought it was uh, yeah, I don't know, bro. The <laughs> yeah. miscellaneous Eldar God to fill out yeah. extra slots. Sounds Isha's like, yeah. just a prisoner, so. But she's nice. She's nice to people. She's so <laughs> she she helps humanity even sometimes. Alariel and Ariel. She is a murderous forest spirit in fantasy. I'm pretty sure Lilith is <laughs> just together. straight up stolen as much. Lilith, as give her a triple S tier for making the Bretonians look like fucking idiots. Wah, wah. Uh, I don't even yeah, know who wah, this is. Wah, wah. That's uh, that. Oh, that's no. the Lady of the Lake. Oh, it's not. It, end times doesn't count. End times aren't real. Ooh, I, you know I'm damn not listening. Well, I'm that, listening. You know <laughs> damn well that's not something <laughs> new. That is not end times exclusive oh, war. There's no way we can have Lilith. Oh no, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's an elf. That's fine. I mean, no, she, this is this is 40k though. She hasn't. This isn't. This isn't fantasy. B tier. Yeah. What? What? She's in both. What she do? <laughs> what she do? What she done? Hey. She made. She misled the Bretonians and made them no, look no, stupid. No, no, 40k. They're, they're okay, uh, she's, okay. she is. She is the one who made the prophecy to Cain that all the mortal Eldar were going to get him killed. So he started butchering mm. elves. There you go, Andy. See, she started. Oh, she cool. got a whole yeah, bunch of elves. <laughs> killed. Yeah. Cool. She I, she didn't mislead the battle. Bretonians until end times happened and they needed something mean to happen. There was there was always okay, someone misleading right. them. They just revealed it was her. Uh, I do like that was she, she wasn't she wasn't the bad guy at first. She was nice. Though she it, was cool. It, I'm sure that her original intentions were not to be the freaking vassal state for the elves until the end times state. came and they needed an excuse yeah, to they make things more depressing. They, they were a vassal state, state for Athelor in their entire history. No, I, uh, boo, I just boo. like how no, Colin like... <laughs> implied I was the devil just then. That's cool. Um, so leave the rest of them in there. Kurnos, you know, see, Kurnos, Kurnos has Isha's a relic wife, on the tabletop. Or Isha's husband. Oh, should they be together? Kurnos is kind of cool in fantasy. No, though. He's, 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 he's a guy. He's, Isha's yeah, got I a new husband that. called Nurgle. All right, don't don't cuck. <laughs> 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 Jesus, beef a beta. Beta. Just, just put Iniad in D tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want him to be better, but honestly, oh, this guy. Yeah. in good conscience, I can't. I don't <laughs> really, he's he seems like someone I've just heard about is going to be cool one day, but hasn't done anything. Then, yeah, what's, yeah, go what's so... going on, Colin? Why? He's what's like, going, he's going on is there could be cool things, but that would mean the Eldar gets stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It's kind of like yeah. the athlete who gets injured bef- before they make it. Big. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just kind of yeah. feel sad and like yeah, have he, so much potential. He got accepted to an Ivy League sports team. that got a concussion last high school football game. So he uh, <laughs> couldn't quite make oh, it. Oh, man. Oh, next is the machine god, though. I think he should be yeah. up there with the Om- Emperor. Messiah is the, it's the same thing. Yeah, basically. kind of the same. And then no, the, he, the Omnisire I... is the Messiah figure of the machine god. I think he should be directly below the Emperor because the Machine God is very cool and I love the concept. Mm. But I'm confident in saying he's the only 40k God that just straight up might not exist. Yeah. There just might not <laughs> be a Machine God. Yeah. Well, he he is or isn't the Emperor. That was that was what the whole schism was about, yeah, right? Basically. Well, no, they think they think he's the quote unquote Jesus Christ of the. Yeah, but but some of yeah. them think that he is the actual machine god. Yeah. Not just. Some the, do some. Not just yeah. part yeah, of it's the, like the, god. the godhead. It's like he is both Jesus Elder Scrolls? and he is God. I and think top of, a. Ghost. Ooh, top of I, a. Yeah. Like he's. Because again, I, just, I can't get over say the he's fact not as that. cool as corn, really? What is. Yeah, how about. What, what does the machine god do? What does he <laughs> it do? It makes your bolter not work if you don't oh. pray to it. I just Mates. like. <laughs> Half cyborg Dude, the, the machine the spirits are totally real. So. Yeah, I mean, but also yeah, like well, Necrons and stuff also have machine spirits. I so see every really everything with the sure. mechanic is, is like, yeah, it's real, but it could be this. Like, it could be an actual <laughs> spirit, could be AI, could be AI fragment, could just be Windows Vista, and they just kind of forgot how that worked. <laughs> yeah. The, also, the, well, the, the Necron, the Necron Excel spreadsheet that's gone haywire. Uh-huh. We love I think the Necron ships the also have machine a. spirits, though. Yeah, but the Necrons have so, like an actual katan that is confirmed real. The, mach- the, yeah, the machine, the machine god is still yeah, like yeah. the uh, what's it called? The the one that the emperor, the katan shard, he messed up that has void dragon with it. Yeah, the void machine dragon. spirits are not AI yeah. for the person who said that in the chat. That's no, no. Nope. Except for when they are. I think the I'm pretty sure the wiki says that, but it's not true. It's they could be anything. They could be ghosts. They could be AI bits of AI. They, it's one of those, you know, Warhammer lore where it's like, eh, yeah. it could be well, anything. I mean, when, when things like a bolt gun have it, it's like that does not, that can't Ooh, possibly cool. be something well, like yeah, AI. Right? Like... saying the machine god saves a Titan pilot from being eaten by demons when she mm-hmm. died. That's pretty cool. But mm-hmm. again, like Eli, that could also just be them misunderstanding machine spirits and being like, this is just gun maintenance. <laughs> I, I don't know. I know. I know in the warp with like chaos, their weapons get souls and stuff and that's how mutilators happen mm. but um, i don't know i think it's better than it's all wacky i don't think um, it's s tier though i mean but... i again i think he's top of a tier because <sighs> i yeah I, I, top of yeah, like, just the mechan- trailer for yeah. mechanic is going and also like, the mechanic the, the mechanic his horse heresy book goes really hard that is true. That's his. This thing. is a mechanic. I said I want to clear. I love the mechanic. and the idea of the machine god. He just might yeah. not be real. It's just yeah, real. yeah. My toast is yeah. Well, he might just be the emperor. I think he's, he's not more... better than K. Yeah, or right? that. We can't the say machine god K. speaks to me on my. Yeah, there there are too many questions. It's true. There's a lot. It's hard to know. I think it, I think all those questions are great and make the setting more interesting. It's just you know I don't want to put him above someone who solidly is like yes. He's real. He does stuff. Oh, so Have Harry, yeah. no, what's it? The, Someone side. said, "Is Vashtor down here?" Well, not yet. Vashtor is not a god. Yeah. No, no, he's a, oh, and we got a Bunny boy. Cup donation. Thank you, Mister Bunny Thank Cup, you. Thank you. for the five dollars. Uh, is that a Pepe? On... No, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I saw Pepe on his profile. Uh, Kane aids here for the time Kane fought alongside Kane to dunk on Demon Prince's clingy X. Oh, I see what you're That's saying. True. Very nice. De- yeah. Demon Princess Clingy X. There you go. Delayed because That's you true. can feel connection. Bless you. Thank you for the donation. What, what other gods have featured in Caiaphas Kane? It's just other yeah. Kane so far. <laughs> I suppose the Omnissiah blesses uh, his mates uh, Melter every day. So You're good. Yeah, that's that's also he's true. <laughs> enough oils on him. Uh, uh, no, the Omnissiah can't bless his Melter because Jurgen's a blank. Oh, he can't slow down. Oh. Uh, I think the next is the Flayer God. He's dead. He's literally dead. He's dead. <laughs> D tier. I would no, yeah. Give him C tier because I yeah, love it when Nec- I love it. He's cool, and I love it when Necron fans go, "You can't blow up the Catan. They're part of the reality." Yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. He got blown up. Uh, Reality's fine. Oh, now here we go. Not for the, the Necrons, but yeah. Oh, this is a lot of Catan. Should we do the actual ones? Cool. That we care uh, about? How about this guy? Nightbringer. Yeah. The Nightbringers. They're really cool. They're just like not really odds anymore, I'd, though. I'd give him just yeah. thing. somewhere in A, surely. Yeah. Or like B. Yeah. Yeah. These Eldar ones, he, we don't know. He got yeah. punked by Uriel Ventress. Mm. Yeah. I don't know the shards. Let me, do. Yeah. Well, yeah, the shards does. 
it was wasn't it retconned into being a shard though? Like wasn't it first it was just straight up the Nightbringer? Well yeah, yeah, because in old lore they the Catan were still the Catan were still alive, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now they're shards. Because in the mm -hmm. old lord, the Necrons were just slaves to the Catan, but now the Catan yeah. are slaves to them so that they can have actual like personality. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Let me uh, let me look up my Necrons podcast script to find the other the Catan deceiver. Shard if the lore. deceiver's in there, as much as I hate it, I think oh, he goes I into love S tier. Him. Yeah, he's cool. Because I mean, he's, he's basically responsible for, responsible responsible for oh, the see. entire setting in some way. Put it, put him next then, to Kagarek, because those two kind yeah, of made the setting in a way. Yeah. And look at that head. Yeah. What's going on here? That's crazy. I think he looks so. I love his design. Doorways. I think he looks so cool. He's also the only he gets guitar shot that actually makes the Necrons like quake in their little mm -hmm. metal boots. Yeah, because uh, the, they're yeah. they're afraid of the, him because they know exactly how. Like there, there's not a single good thing about him. Mm -hmm. He has no shred of like goodness at all. He is <laughs> no <evil>. redeeming qualities. <laughs> and his model still holds up really well, in my opinion. Why don't they it's still so pretty definitely better than the Nightbringers does. Yeah. <laughs> they should just bring out more Katan shard models, honestly. Kalgura. Wait, wait, wait. Kalgura is. Just oh, all right. Because he's got. Can we put back. him just next to the he's... machine god? Yeah, can he go? Can he, he should go above the machine god for the meme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, like it. Can you find the difference between these two pictures? They're the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them is a model. That's the difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I know these he's, people. Yeah, he's the master of destruction. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, um, which one? Zar Halash got bodied by Belisarius. I want to put him in D. Like, ha, lol. Um, the outside is Zar Halash's potente cool. was used to power one of the eight Necron warp beacons known as the Pharos. So, hmm. All right, yeah. He was he was basically Me. the the Pharos device's battery. And then mm. Belisarius came huh. out, and he's like, oh, "I so will you could... get you." And he went, "No, actually," and he cast <laughs> him out. <laughs> In a roundabout way, you can blame that guy for the Tyranids, then. <laughs> yeah, this guy's yeah D tier, uh, D tier. Uh, so Kalgura is strong. Uh, oh, that's a sure yeah, nothing a, interesting. <laughs> that sure is a Katan. Ogdriada. He's the Arisen. Yes. Frick, that's it. That, <laughs> uh, the burning one has like a, at least a couple paragraphs of lore. One paragraph, I think. Niadra's he burns like the whole webway and. Is he the one like, with the artwork where uh, he's fighting a Tyranid? thing yeah i was, I was gonna say one of, there's titan. this guy and then there's i think it's the spiral flame one of them powers sarex weapon doesn't he he's like hmm. the battery cool. for it and he's a fire one because one's called the burning one and one's called the, the burning one has like some lore yeah it just hit me how crazy that fire. is though like someone was saying <laughs> yeah. you know, a, like someone said there's a literal god in my battery yeah I like think that you know, that sentence like, is wild. He stands on. Ooh. I think it's what powers the platform. Uh, <laughs> Niadrazatha, the burning yeah. one, he showed the Necrons the Dolem gates. Yes. That's pretty huge. He allowed them to teleport. Right. So that's kind of cool. But makes a Solid. Um, yep. Iyashudra, the Ember Swarm. Cool. Yeah, well, that sure is a cool name. I have no lore on him at all. Wow. <laughs> but he has a real cool Someone's name. Someone's going to like, he's oh. my favorite. How could you do him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of these pictures, by the way, are absolutely just a photo of the Human Torch from yeah. the Fantastic Four. <laughs> and then the Outsider went flame. You on, mean Fantastic Four? Oh, he's no, oh, he's, he's real. Right he, the the Outsider is <laughs> like the best. One. The Outsider was tricked by Kegarak to eat other Gatan and went insane. Oh yeah, he causes madness and suicide wherever he goes, oh. and is trapped in a Dyson sphere beneath the Galactic Ooh. Plane. Low tier Gatan. Based. That's cool. Based he's that. I'm sure JW will never touch that plot ever. Oh. Uh, but he's sure. <laughs> It sure would be the cool. If there's they a do. Dyson sphere in Warhammer outside of <laughs> the realm of existence. Um, is crazy. Nephoran, the spiral flame. Nah. No. Uh, and Yigra uh, Nya. Put them in. We don't know who they are. Yigra if we ain't got Nya. opinions, like <laughs> shove them down. Go come on. Yep, Here we go. Shit. Real stuff. Real shit. Uh, oof. SS. SS. SS, 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 SS do we also have Gorkamorka? I don't know. SS. I heard uh, That's one really we're missing. We're there. missing Gorkamorka when they get Do we really together. need Gorkamorka? Oh, okay. so because he's brutal and cunning. Yeah, that's one of them being cunning. <laughs> and full no, brutal. he's cunning and brutal. All right, so which one goes first? Uh, go Mork or Gork? Gork. Uh, Gork goes first. Yeah, Gork. Gork. Gork is brutal and cunning. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but is he better than the Deceiver? Nah. nah okay. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. Ooh, don't <laughs> All right, well, nah, we're happy with that. We're happy I like how that. that was this like really like important gods, and we just like yeah, yeah, done. <laughs> As an orc should be. Oh, orc it's the old ones, isn't it? 
old ones. They just uh, they deserve everything they got. Put them in D tier. Ah, someone's <laughs> made a great point. What well, the the death gods that Nagash ate the Tomb King pantheon. Usiria, uh, mm. solid. Who cares? Out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, you know I want this in S tier. The full. Emperor. I die for the forum emperor. I die for. Are him. we sure that's the not just the hive mind? <laughs> Well, yes, yeah, it sorry, might um, be the hive mind. Same by thing. Hive mind, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, fair enough. Put him up he there. He is the emperor. Put him in. Put him in S tier by the emperor. Put him in B. <laughs> Come on now. No, he's, he's, like, he's, he's the true, the true the emperor. Four armed emperor. My emperor has four arms. Yours only has two. Whoever these Get two good. Are. <laughs> yeah, put him behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. He doesn't have a personality. But it's so cool. Gene yeah, that's why he, that's why the only time I ever hear is... about it is when some uh, random space marine psyker connects with it for a moment and just goes, <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, he's angry, then... isn't it? Oh. The star children! The oh. star children! And then they're he, coming! Like, starred all over the place. Um, <laughs> we're on SS we're tier. On triple S. Triple S. He's awful. He treats his followers like dirt. He has no redeeming qualities. He's the best. He's <laughs> terrible. He's having a silly goose time. He's just his mere presence makes every makes property values plummet. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he just like oh, when he appears yeah. to the council of thirteen, isn't it? He just randomly kills one of them for no reason. Yeah, so he yeah. just goes, <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, okay. the only oh, two it's a mess. The first, the first like ten minutes of any summoning him is just him eating Skaven, <laughs> and then they're like, yes, Sigma. Team mm, triple S. Male uh, no, triple S. He's... Triple S. Why not? I would double S. I put him next to Jane's workshop for me. Sigmar Ooh. has done something what? no Warhammer God has done and actually learned hammer. from his mistakes. Mm. Yeah, he's also he's allowed cool. to make mistakes, so he's an actual surely, character. Surely yeah. Sigmar and he and he started as a dude. That's always that's so to be fair, so cool. just going off the poll we just did, it was Gorkamor thirty six percent, Sigmar thirty three, Emperor thirty. That's pretty on the nose, right? Like, yeah, that's pretty much Come on, he's be- he's better than the deceiver. Humans Black. I like human Sigmar. God Sigmar is the one who didn't answer Archeon before he was Archeon. Just, he was trapped in the vortex. He couldn't. Yeah. Oh, so he's SS tier for being trapped in a vortex? <laughs> no, he's oh, SS, yeah. SS tier because he has actual personality flaws and issues. He's a real character, not just, hey, guys, I'm. Guys, I'm guys he's a lost Primark, guys. I'm he's a lost guy. Primark. <laughs> oh, dude, you can choke him. <laughs> you can. Oh, no, we'll guys, so we go. Uh, Sigma. Uh, <sighs> Oh gosh! I do like Sigma. I, I just don't enjoy him as much. I just can't. I don't enjoy him as much as the echelon in SSS tier. Super male grounds. You enjoy Gork and Mork more than Sigma. yeah. Gork and, yes, Gork and Mork are like the are almost as one dimensional as corn. But it's funny. <laughs> Oh, oh, the not funny. thing they have is that they're green, right, and sometimes okay. they. Yeah. Have green right. We're gonna we're gonna argue about this oh forever until the polls. Oh. And so until then, I'm just gonna put him in. No idea who they are. Okay. Oh, no, okay. that's that's right. too, that's I'm too offended, harsh. But okay. right. Wait, is it is it true that Gork and Mork spit out an orc every day to and resurrect them? Is that a true fact? Does uh, anyone know? Maybe. Mm. I, like I remember the hearing that, image, but I, yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, that's Grimnir. Oh my god, the, the poll right now. Grimnir! No, SSS? Sigma does not Look deserve SSS style. tier, Colin. <laughs> the poll is so with me. Ooh, I like oh, it's going to go backwards now. I've said something. I like that. Is, is, uh, is Grit. Uh, he's he's the Slayer sure God. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's epic. Yeah. That's, and he gives. Uh, uh, that's Brian is Blessing he the one who, gives, who lets Felix use the hammer? Is that yes. the, other, the gods in general? He is. Well, kind Sigmar of kind of. Or not Sigmar. Uh, Felix just kind of prayed to any god who would listen. Like he just started shouting out names. Yeah, that's uh, and then, that's and a really cool did. moment. It, it was awesome. Uh, Wait, Grimnir, right? Grimnir. Yeah, Grimnir's cool, tough then. for me because Grimnir is currently broken into loads of pieces of gold, but he's also <laughs> basically Gotrek. Yeah, like, yeah. he is Gotrek. Well, that's now. cool. I'm pretty sure Gotrek hears, a, into not gold Gotrek hears his voice in his head. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Gotrick does not like he Grimnir hates him. at all. <laughs> he <laughs> hates Grimnir. So, it's so annoying. They like he gave him back his like his lost eye, and then his first book back in Age of Sigmar, he loses his eye again <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah, like you get, and he gets wow. cut by like I think like a Skaven. Oh, why, 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 why is why can't Sigmar be in Triple S but Grimnir can't? Because Grimnir, yeah, what's going on here? I don't think I don't know here? Grimnir is Triple S to be honest. But he's a dwarf. And he's got really cool hair. Look at that. I just don't, don't talk yeah, about the fire slave. He's kind of dead. He's literally. He's also dead the god right of now. telling you to kill yourself. 
He's, yeah. sl- he's the Slayer. Guy. He's the toxic <laughs> male image that we all aspire to be. He's, he's oh, kind yeah. of t- double S for me, just because he's dead and he's currently his mm-hmm. body is scattered across all the realms as pieces of gold. So he's kind of not really alive. Um, he could probably take some Oh, yeah. speaking of orgasm, Valeas. Valeas. I, all right. Valeas. For Valeas. I don't know. She, her, we're, her, we're... her bonus for uh, Grombardal is the best one in Total War. Yeah, that's that's very true. Uh, Barden <laughs> and Vermintide uh, respects her above the others. She mm-hmm. exists. For the wisdom. The gash ate, the gash ate her. The wisdom of Valeas. Uh... Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> is she using yeah, the sure. ritual with the uh, other child, fine. or is that? No, uh, Nagash ate her power. Oh, I think was it? <laughs> did, um, who's the vampire who found her? The mm, I do not remember. The the, the first vampire. The, um, oh, Neferata. She she found Valeria inside a dwarf hole, I think, in the end times. Hmm. Randomly, what? and oh, then yeah, she yeah, basically and gave then... her to Nagash. Yeah, How did she find well, Valeia? I, she just I, found I think there were some dwarfs. Of dwarfs. Yeah. I guess there were some dwarfs uh, like okay. going because the, the, the theory was once they found Valeia and opened the gates, it would be the new golden age of the dwarfs. And, except hmm. there were a whole lot of vampires in the gash there, so he went in instead and stole our power. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. No golden age for the dwarfs. I already, know what this, moment. I already know what this next one's going to be. Oh, so did, I not send, did I not send Grugni? Uh, no, oh. I don't think so. Hmm. I thought no, I he'd be the same. Oh, Gr- oh no, Grunny's a little cool. Grungni. Gr- Grungni would be next to Gotrick. He's cool in AOS. I mean, he's, he's yeah. again, he learned from his mistakes. Techless. Who is? Techless. Oh, yeah. Techless. Techless. Oh, calling Techless a god? A tier. He is a god in Age of Sigmar. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I know. Grungni. This guy. All right, where's he going? A Next to Grimnir, I would say. There we go. Two friends. Right. Third, uh, so yeah, eight that's not good. Elf. Elf. Techless. Behind the dwarf gods. <laughs> he right. fucked Techless up just a lot. Gets, yeah. He, well, Techless Techless just gets, he just gets cocked for the entire Actually, end times, no, right? I would, like... I would say, hey, no, this is him as a god. Fantasy lore doesn't count. Okay, yeah, you're... you're... You know what I find As difficult? a god... I mean, okay, surely so don't about the gods that aren't no, actually no, no. got any What's pictures. Up? I, I find it difficult with Techless because in recent lore, they're kind of... They're making him like kind of embarrassing in the way they're like, "I'm a god. Do you want to learn from me?" And they basically go, "Yeah, no, mate. It's... Your moon, <laughs> the moon spirits, right yeah, there." It's kind of embarrassing to like take wow. us in, like in universe. I just can't get a W. Guys, of now, all, to of be all the fair, in the chat saying Tau God, best oh. God, he has iron on his side. Get out! Of here <laughs> Please, <laughs> we ain't coming to bro, What are you on like about? Border Prince, oh, you border prince plays Middle Earth, so. Death. <laughs> He's a G. <laughs> oh, come on. That's just mean. Yeah, no, we don't. But it's, uh, it deserves it. It deserves it. Uh, we uh, can't Texas have. Texas is cringe. In the comments, everyone's just saying, De- Texas is cringe. Uh, Texas is <laughs> bottom of A tier. Right. Because he, the appearance of the Lumineth in him was him blowing up every single army in the death faction. He just showed up and was like, you're done. Sit down. Uh, <laughs> other than that, he also saved the Lumineth. By mm. finding the spirit, who they all tell him to shut up, so they can listen to that instead of him. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. We got we got two dollars from a border prince. He's doubling down. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank thank you, you Mr. Mr. Border. <laughs> Tao God, best God. He's already on his side. We appreciate oh, the donation. Uh, I'll put him down. Thank you, brother. I like, <laughs> your, I like <laughs> seeing your community posts about Middle Earth. It makes me happy. Yo, why but, have we uh, not included Middle Earth? I mean. Eru Luvatar would just be SFS to it, and then we just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. technically all the Pantheon are Eru Luvatar, right? Yeah. Well, for that one, we just have to add him, add another tier above all the others to so just say God. Hmm. Well, Eru Luvatar, uh, Eru, and then Eru Luvatar song, and then yeah. Yeah. And singing. But uh, for Teclas not being above A tier, he did screw up making new elves a lot, and his response to designing something wrong was to go right i'm just gonna kill all of you (laughs) (laughs) yeah he was like well i messed up you all need to die and then the idonet ran away Hmm. (laughs) just uh, just try a little cheeky euthanasia on their entire (laughs) (laughs) that's a bad name if i heard one um Uh, right uh, tyrion Tyrion? age of sigmar Uh, a saint's tackle is just above 
the right, same thing. He's the same. Yeah. The, the same thing. It's cool. Kind cool. of. No, Tyr cool, Tyrion obviously, is. What the difference is between these two <laughs> photos? They're the same picture. <laughs> well, the, well, first Tyrion's of all, the, the twins, melee so version of it. Look similar. <laughs> right. I would hope they're similar. They're twins. Hmm. I, I just get annoyed at Tyrion just because of how many times he just... I mean, end times really did mess him up. Yeah. In Age of Sigmar, you know, he's he's a lot chiller. Uh, he he fights with Illumineth. He's trying to fight Malekith. Malarian, pardon me. Yeah. The fact that he can't uh, see and he has to see through his brother's eyes is just... It's not cool. It's cool. It's yeah, honestly, what are you on about? I think that's the weirdest thing ever. Like, imagine he's like trying to go somewhere else, and Teclas is not with him. He's basically screwed. That's Teclas spent like millennia teaching him how to fight on his own, where he can be blind. Being blind is not like a. It's how? a fantasy Have you setting. Seen Daredevil. Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. I just think it was a. I just think it's a dumb like moment where like one of the authors basically went, "That sounds kind of cool," and then didn't think anything more about it. Hmm. And That's it's... all of what Warhammer is! Yeah, I know, but it's one of the ones that doesn't hit well with me. It just doesn't hit. All right, fair like the enough. Town God. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> this should be self-explanatory. He's going in S. Such is the power. Such is the power of Nagash. More than the rat? No, put uh, no, put him behind the Great Horn Rat. The Great Horn Rat is funny. Wow. Behind the funny. rat. Because, because Skaven have constantly messed up his plans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the rats. Gash tries to do any, anything. There's five million rats at his door. <laughs> he needs to have some cats, that guy. Like, just to give him. <laughs> yeah. He needs some cats to, to <laughs> guard his Who grain the... and guard his equipment. That's, Who is this? That's, that's Ulrich. Is this? That's, oh, that's, this guy that's Ulrich. Sigmar. That's Sigmar's god. Oh, you know Sigmar. what this looks like, though? This cool. picture you've supplied. It looks like some kind of home brewed beer and that's what they stick on the can. It, what it is that? Look like a... What's going on? He's got an axe. He should hair. go above Sigmar then if he's Sigmar's god. Uh, no, 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 no. Sigmar's no. still better. Right. Okay. Ulrich's cool. He's a cool guy. <laughs> I he's think he's worship be him. just below Zeech mm -hmm. in beta. Right. Well, that's Ouch. I couldn't justify him higher than Zeech. I mean, I didn't that's know this stuff. guy existed just now. And I barely knew about Sigmar. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's this? Sign Renault. language. Give him D. British sign language. Who is this? <laughs> Ranald. He's the language. god of luck. Uh, he oh. tricked a god into giving him divinity. And when you click pray to Ranald yeah, in Warhammer, uh, yeah. he fucks you. <laughs> oh, is that the <laughs> that's, that's when uh, the magic at the beginning? Yeah, is that yeah. Him? When you go, oh, okay. give me more power, and it's like Ranald has blessed you, or Ranald has yeah. told you to get bent. Oh. <laughs> D tier. So he usually tells me to get bent. And uh, <laughs> at the Las Vegas casinos. Um, he's, yeah, he's like he's like thieves, that kind of stuff. Who okay. is this? Oh, I like this guy. What is that? Human god of nature. He's yeah. kind of cool. In Vermintide, that's the one that um, Kruber often yeah. praises to. Again, I'd put him next yeah. to Ulrich, to be honest. They're kind of the uh, same like this level. Guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tal is... Again, it's like one that if someone knows like their empire law, it's kind of just one of the few gods that... It's basically Sigmar, yeah. Ulrich, Tal, and then the others. Or more. more. Is more on there? Oh. No, yeah, I, didn't, I, I didn't bring more. Bear. Oh, uh, Nagash uh, ate Nagash ate more. Yeah, <laughs> S tier because bears are cool. Urson is. I can live uh, with that. Yeah, that's true. I never big... play. Uh, yeah, it's just I a just big love that gift of the the bear. <laughs> <That's the laughs> awesome. It's just a big. Yeah. It's just I, a I, really. Oh, just yeah. love, like, just love that gift of Does he waving? That's why. It's does he actually get captured by the chaos gods, or is that just total war? That's total war. I think that's just total war. Although that with the old war might be made canon. What actually happens uh, to him in the end time? He just not appear. I, I he's Keyslip, so who cares? That's what happens obviously. to him in the end. Keyslip gets wiped off off screen. <laughs> oh my god! That's why we got a donation from Bunny Cop for five dollars oh, saying you. rats eat dead bodies. Of course, Nagash always loses to Skaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you uh, go. <laughs> incoming backup with thirty. Uh, Squiggles. We don't know. Can someone explain what's that? I'm I think they're shekels. I think they're shekels. I found. I think I found that out the other day. Uh, just joined Wire Cork, Mork, Thank the you. Bad Moon, the Great Maw, the Everyone, and all the other custom Cork and Morka wears none all this. <laughs> <laughs> there is Boing God. Boing God. Boing is that real? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> I best believably real somehow. <laughs> oh my what gosh. Is this image I <laughs> Boing God. Boing God. <laughs> Boing, oh my god, it's real. <laughs> it's real. It's oh, oh my it's god. It's the father of all screen. 
Right, hold on. Let me just save this image. Oh, oh, please please get a squig. Oh, I'm going to put Boing Gob on the list. Hold on a second. Boing this is why we need the community to tell us about these books we don't know about. Uh, I know what my next post in my room. Oh, he was immolated in his attempt to devour the light of the realm of fish. He's been burned. He's been cooked. He's been immolated. He tried to eat light or something. Are you telling me this guy got rotisserie chicken? I don't have the the, the ears. That's annoying. <laughs> He's top of S tier, surely. I like oh, how Gordon is going. So stupid. Boing Gob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so happy that's Colin. Man, I suggest you do a Boing Gob video next on your channel. <laughs> do or don't Boing Gob. No way. Yeah, exactly. you, like, tell me you have a short at least already. Oh, oh I, I can certainly. Tr he has one paragraph on the wiki. It looks <laughs> that's like that's enough. Surely. Make it into a 10 minute video. I dare you. Status is deceased. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my God. Relatives are squigs in brackets children. Oh my gosh. <laughs> got well done. <laughs> well done, backup. You've killed Colin. Oh man. He's now not oh, able to breathe enough yeah. oxygen into to fuel his brain. Imagine if you were like, can you explain your list? And there's just boy gob at the very Oh, just... DJ Beast will always be a follower of Boing Gob. <laughs> Boing Gob has 100 <laughs> followers. I'm one of them. <laughs> People spam boy and gob in the chat. For that. <laughs> because that's boy and gob, everyone. That's our Give thing from now on. <laughs> oh, <Holy> cow. Cow. <laughs> God. I need a minute. How do they say it in like <laughs> like with the like, um, I do... <laughs> the accent is like <laughs> right, old <yo>, boy and gob. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's my favorite new piece of wherever it looks. That's like <laughs> worst Great name as well. Name of all time. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Can we just boing rename gob. our podcast as the, bo the Boing Gob? <laughs> and how do you oh, worship man. Boing Gob? <laughs> well, he's dead. So I <laughs> <laughs> Every time you step on a squid, oh, he I don't know how you get a rotisserie <laughs> chicken. <in the> <laughs> I guess he's canon in fantasy, maybe though. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we we have two <laughs> donations from from Rabbit Brain. Uh, it's our second bunny themed username. Mm. Hopefully, this money is of help. Also, sorry to ask, but where is Soul Can? Thank you for the monies. It will Soul help. Can. Soul Can. Is it I don't know what it is. Just Look him up. It's no, he's he's sweet. a he's a chaos god of law. He's oh, a, like a Soul is Kin is a vengeance. The Avenger. Twenty meter bridge. Yeah. Popular with witch hunters. This guy sounds pretty cool. In old lore, he was like the power behind witch hunters, but in oh. newer lore, he doesn't exist. Oh, oh that's too bad. That's a shame. Sad. Then we have another squiggles from uh, <laughs> incoming backup. Thank you. Truly the most tragic death in all of AOS. <laughs> Truly. Imagine Truly. how things would have been different if Sigma was standing beside Boing Gob. Can we get an RIP for um, Boing Gob? Also, I could have please. saved him. Also, I could have saved him. We had the result results should uh, Sigma be in. We should, we should change the thumbnail. Can you say Boing Gob at some point? Uh, who needs Vote we'll 10 books? Give me Boing, Boing Gob. Gob. Right. I think that's fair. <laughs> Well, I should. <laughs> we might need to get a move on, boys. <laughs> we want to get to the next. Um, what's this thing? What's this? Hashut. 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 He's, he's pretty cool. Chaos dwarves. Head... God. He's Chaos cool. dwarves are cool. They really, they really did not oh. try hard with their origin stories. I'd, I could like... put him in A to put just below Nurgle. Oh. Yeah, I like the whole turning to stone thing. Mm -hmm. Although, again, it's like more reasons why to not turn to chaos, but it's neat. <laughs> He's just thinking of it, Colin. He's I still tell. having trouble. <laughs> just... I can't help it. I'm just going to send you occasionally just a gif of Boing Gob just going just on random days. Oh, yeah. to see if His I children have been the same. Boing Gob could just, have just stopped know. the end times. Just, oh, just know oh, that you've changed the, um, this man's life now. This will never be the same. This um, what's the next one, Colin? Uh, that's Petra. Oh, Petra. <laughs> Who's Petra? What is that thing? Uh, give him triple S tier because it's a god Setra worships, and if Setra worships you, you oh, gotta be hell shit. But Setra doesn't why is it actually guy? just an Egyptian god. So true. Yes, it is Ra, <laughs> but with a PT in front of the name. Right. <laughs> I thought Setra didn't serve though. No, he doesn't serve. Ooh, but true. It's not. Hey, 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 hey! It's not servitude. 
he gives them worship <laughs> so and they give him power. They they give him power and good flood Ooh. rates. Yeah, <laughs> for growing crops. That's a nice worship there, brother. Oh, let me man. just put let me add some respect on your flood plains. What is this? The Maw! Ma. The Great Maw! The Maw has the Maw has a theme song. I I don't think I need to say <laughs> yeah. it anymore. This is the great so true. of from the ogres. The yeah, it's, a, it's, just no, it's, it's, a it's just it's a hole. It's a hole. No, it, it's a hole with teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's a sarlacc like pit monster. That's what it is. Isn't there it's like a, a Japanese it's... horror thing about that theme? If you know oh what yeah, mean? it's a it's a Junji Ito manga. Yeah, <laughs> oh my so it's, hard to, it's hard to tell if it's actually a real god or not, but I like to think it is. <laughs> I like the, it, <laughs> hey, the it gives the ogres magic. Yeah, true. <sighs> that might also just be the vicinity to a. Giant warp stone crater, uh, potentially. I mean, it's, it's the maw. It's the maw. I, I'd like to think there is there is the like war of the maw or whatever. So yeah, I think it's I, I, real. It's, it's, I choose to believe it's the maw. Give give him S tier. Give no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it's great. You know, oh, top of it's a. the he, best. Top of A. He represents the best teeth. of A. Um, All right, fine. Top uh, of A. I can top of A. Please. Uh, more than Nurgle. Okay. Yeah. yeah, more than <laughs> Nurgle. <laughs> He'd eat Nurgle. Fair enough. Dude, if they what? threw great and clean the Nurgle, he'd eat it. Oh, it's the guy with the long Oh, this is the Femir god, yeah. right? Malal's. No, that's that's Malal. It's just oh. Malal, I think. Malal's dead. Malal doesn't exist yeah, anymore. Anyway. Yeah, who cares? You're a god and you're dead. <laughs> to hell with you. Not even the god of death. You're who's, the dead god. Who's this? That's, that's Malarian in Age of Sigmar. Malachia. Malaria? What? Malarian oh. is a, oh, is a I com like combination of Malekith and his black dragon. They merged into one. Is that being. ever confirmed? I think it just says that's what it says. Uh, that's what I heard too, but I don't know either. Which is weird. Just, just uh, going there. It's just weird. Uh, I, I, I like Malekith. I don't know there. anything about his Age of Sigmar stuff, though. Well, he should uh, get to stick up there with Tyrion and Teclis, surely. He's got... Yeah, but he's done. Yeah. Put him behind them because all he has done. Is he helps Sigmar build some arenas for the Stormcast and uses it to spy on the Stormcast in training? That is what? all he has done. What? I want to put him at the top of B then, because that's kind oh of man, more more right, dark yeah. elf oppression. Oh um, my gosh! You know what? We got kill, the Phoenix. Kill, we got the Phoenix crown in the right. end. That's the only canon part of end times. <laughs> kill all <Drew> <laughs> Who's got out. the Phoenix <laughs> crown, baby? Who's got the Phoenix crown? No one. We the world blew up. We do. <laughs> Oh, for, for incoming that's... backup, more squiggles. Thank you. This is uh, in AOS, Gorka Morka are the Maw. So, like, how good of a hunger is it really? Mm. What? This sounds Big like hunger. Maw heresy. Big hunger. Uh, Alariel. Alariel. She's, She's kind of stupid. Beetle. In Age of kind of mid. Right. But she does have a cooler mid. fantasy. Her model is mid. really cool. Put her, put her, put her above. Put her above Malakis. She does stuff. <laughs> Uh, which one's Malekith? Yeah, it's true. And she She's has a the physical dragon presence, at the top of right? So. Oh, yes. yeah. She has a physical presence. She helped get rid of Nagash's taint. Did she now? All right. So it's shame she wasn't devoured by the uh, god. So tearless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that so is happy our fantasy about Boing God. <laughs> so it's, it's, we do have another tier list to go through, brothers. And this one is yes, going to be quite extensive. So you might have to have some um, some hard choices here. <laughs> and we, we should preface the next one um the next one is going to be uh dark souls mm -hmm. boss battles i believe and mm -hmm. i think our criteria is in terms of enjoyment design just like the whole general package um not and also is it still a good fight in the end um just to let you know, I've I've ordered them into games, and I've kind of oh. done most of Dark Souls one in like order of appearance, and then I've tried like I didn't have much time beforehand, so I've skimmingly gone through them, so they're more or less <clears throat> uh, one and three at least. Um, mm. But I will also uh, mention I've just been playing Dark Souls one on the Switch recently, and um, it's fresh I in your to, mind. I want to start on a rant because I'm just at Ornstein and Smaug. I hate Ornstein. Awful. Awful. I hate them. I hate I... Ornstein and Smaug. It's I... rubbish. I just, I can't agree. I have nothing. I, I've what? only played like some of Dark Souls 2. I don't have any opinions. First of all, very good taste. <laughs> uh, second of all, Andy, what are you on about? I hate this boss fight. It's a good fight. Is this, is this the tall guy and the fat guy? Yeah. Yes. I hate They're them. awesome. I haven't even I haven't played it, but they look they sure go hard they look, and you look, they look cool, but they they are oh, such a pain to fight. They cannot be below awesome. 
This is and the they, fight they, that separates the boys from the men. Okay. I beat him. I beat him a few times beforehand in playthroughs, but whenever I get just to them, they're always the a chore. They're always like, Thank "Oh no, boss. this bit of the game." Oh, just always kill. Get good. Smo first. <laughs> get good. Also, I bang my table, and now my my fan in my laptop's making a weird noise. So, whoops. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, it is an awesome fight. The design is awesome. There's reoccurrences of this throughout the entire like trilogy, basically. Mm -hmm. References to it, you get to wear the armor, which are quite mm. a few boss fights you don't. It's an but awesome only the fight. One you, you kill at the end if you kill Smile first and then you kill Big Lord's <laughs> D, you get his armor. If you do it the other way, you get Smile. So, yeah, you have to do two playthroughs to get their armor. It's a it's a fun fight, <laughs> particularly in the, are the arena's good. Fun, no, it's awesome. <laughs> Come on, if, it they're, is awesome. if they're below good, I'm leaving Warcry. Remembrance or confirmed scrubs as rare as Pepe. <laughs> Look, I've, I've beaten them several times. It's just never fun to beat them because it's stressful uh, and annoying. Um, you can always, you can always go for a summon if you're feeling like it. Yeah, well, even then, it's just like I was <laughs> fighting him yesterday and I got skewered, and I was like, ah, bollocks, and yeah, I got killed. This, you have to this really guy says Colin and Hal. Colin and Hal should show up as Smao and uh, Ornstein, or whatever his name is, for uh, <laughs> oh, the next no. Warhammer Fest. Oh, no. Damn. That'd be awesome. Have you guys seen uh, be taller. Orns, Dunkstein and Slamo? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the Ornstein and Smo theme with Space Jam theme oh, over no. it. <laughs> It's actually oh, not as bad as that sounds, which is even scrub worse. Remembrancer. I'm going to scrub Andy. <laughs> I've seen yeah. the game several times. Stop, Stop bullying. Should we, uh, should we go to the... What's the next one, though? I, I think that's out of order, so I think it'd well, be the yeah. Asylum well, I, I've, Demon. I've ordered then. it more or less, so it should be Asylum Demon. Yeah, so start one. It's, it's average. I, Demon. I think that's the most average fight in the entire... The first... The first time you play Dark Souls, it's a great introduction because it's like, you know, you go, oh, this it's a new game. It's going to ease me in. And then this fat bastard jumps you and it's like, oh, <laughs> this is this is what I'm in for. His but after that, funny. it's like he's 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 there. We should mention yeah. there's two fights because yeah. you can return to the asylum. There's a stray oh, yeah. demon as well. Yeah. And there is some yeah. there is a lot of artwork that I do not appreciate of this fellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh no! He's got he's he's got a lot going on in the back. I'll say that. Mm. <laughs> he's got some junk in the truck. Him, him, him and Boing Gob are good friends. <laughs> him and him and Smal jumping and doing the butt oh, slam man. together. Like stop it, dude! Imagine them jumping in a pool. <laughs> there would be no and pool. And no be crater. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, Taurus I... Demon. Give him, give him an okay because it's funny when he kills himself and jumps off the yeah. metal arena. Yeah, and also you, you kind of still new at the game at that point, so yeah, hmm. it's easy on uh, very easy on consecutive runs, but it's still a good sort of test. And the the arena is small and it's narrow, so you're forced to. It, it teaches you actually like to be brave, so it's a good hmm. point. Belguagoil, oh, you got to fight these guys so many <gasps> times during the whole entire franchise. Uh, I think yeah. it's bad. Yeah, to be honest. I don't. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Mm, the boss fight itself yeah. is oh, is fine. Yeah. Actually, I'll leave it in the bottom of average, I think, yeah. just because yeah. the fact the gimmick is like, oh, there's more than one of them. Like, Capra yeah. Demon is awful. I hate it. Yeah. Fuck that, <laughs> that was painful. I mean, it's not, a, it's it's not the... a difficult fight. It's just more of, it's annoying that he's not even like an actual boss because there's more Capra Demons later on. And he has two dogs with him to help. It's like, you're the not arena. Really a boss fight, are you? The arena is the true boss. <laughs> he's perfectly fine. It's just you have two square feet to fight him and he has two dogs. Well, that's why you run <laughs> up the stairs first on the left. You kill the dogs and then you just have him and you're fine yeah but the first time you play dark souls you're not thinking all right run up the arena i'll tech him i'll i'll wait to make him fall get yeah, the dogs yeah, you're thinking yeah. you there's a boss anything. oh that's just, yeah. yeah but like other bosses make it up by being like cool and spectacle it's or like, it's like fighting the tourist demon if you don't it's honestly like what is behind you it's the arena the arena is actually like the problem with it because it his attacks basically clip you no matter what he do. it's not that bad it is because you're so like, the time <laughs> you fight him you're Cameron quite weak <laughs> And you you were saying well. Ornstein and Smo is the gatekeeper. No, the, the <laughs> yeah, Capra Demon is the real them, gatekeeper. The chorus is just like, oh, there's some, some little dogs nipping at my heels. One hit, they're dead. Uh, it's not too bad. If, you, if you're playing anything but a, like a melee build, it's it's go to hell. It's fuck yeah. you. <laughs> uh, gaping, gaping Dragon. dragon. 
was kind good. Of fun. It's an interesting game. design. I think it's like, yeah, I think okay. Yeah. Maybe better than the Taurus good. Demon slightly. Good. Oh, good. Really? Because you can summon Solaire. Oh, yeah. Um, what's a good Praise point? The and the, also the run up to that fight through the sewer tunnels is, I mean, apart from the slimes dropping on you, which are very annoying. I, yeah, but, that's um, not very fun. <laughs> No, but it is actually a good fight, and the mechanic of that little was that that weak spot yeah. it has, like the little crocodile. Oh, it's, it's it, it it's its head. It's just so small that its design is cool as well. It's literally like a dragon yeah. that's been opened up, and its rib cage is the teeth. Whoa. So yeah. Question uh, is, is that how it was born, or is it mutated? Mutated. Ooh, because mutated, it has that weird yeah. thing with the face that makes it makes you think, oh, is it actually like a thing where it's adapted to be like? I'm just guy and then you get just close and goes nom you're like oh, a little no. like angler fish sort of yeah it's got a little it's like a little stupid face it's just like and then it goes and mm. yeah scary uh, um chaos witch quilag uh okay yeah. i think it's okay Looks it's fun neat. but you know it's i feel the first couple times you fight her it's like kind of annoying her lava attack and then after that you get used to it and it's not anything too special yeah, yeah i'm not she's, i don't she's, it's not Solid. strong opinions on it, though, really. Uh, Moonlight Butterfly is awfully bad. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. <laughs> it's terrible. It looks pretty. I looked up a picture. It, a it nice is song. very goes, pretty. And and then you stab yeah. it, and that's it. The The presentation of the fight is great. The fight itself is very dry. All you yeah. do is you stand in, like, um, a sort of narrow, sort of open, like, corridor Bridge. area. Yeah. Like a sort of ledge thing. And it basically just throws at like magic attacks, and you have to stand there and just dodge, and then periodically it will hmm. just run up to the the ledge, so you so you so you can attack it. Ran yeah. like it doesn't it has make no sense. reason to be doing that, yeah. other than it needs you to attack it. Say occasionally, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a pain. Um, uh, Iron Golem, Golem is top top of the tier list because, because you can you summon you, you can summon Tarkus. Oh yeah, to be fair, Tarkus. Is a <laughs> have brilliant. you seen that? Have you guys seen that video where it's like the it's the two guys playing Dark Souls and he's just like just wait and they summon Tarkus and they just start chanting his name and he, <laughs> he, he, he breaks its poise and just falls off. That video is awesome. Also, <laughs> as it spawns in, oh, you can do a heavy attack on its ankle and it will basically stun lock it and it can fall off the arena. Yeah, huh. it's, it's great. It's, it's great. pretty fun. I've it's seen great... some funny edits of Great Wolf Sif. <laughs> Honestly, uh, no, this one is tragic. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a good fight, but it's just heartbreaking because you, yeah. you don't really want to kill this wolf. It's so sad. I do. It, if you do the solid. DLC first, Sif recognizes you and it's yeah horrible and it sucks, but then it's okay because and then Sif teleported away. Hmm. And when you, <laughs> you don't kill it really Sif, she teleports and it's quite funny. Um, she teleports away. You don't kill Sif. She just teleports away. It's kind of sad that we're just being up a dog, essentially. You know? <laughs> oh, here we go. Pinwheel, Pinwheel's legendary. legendary. Put yeah. him up there. Get him up there. Top, top tier. You, you either. Pinwheel. I've had a few people say they got stuck on this one randomly, but it's also the one where it dies so easily. Yeah. I mean, I've just, I've just done like when I started my playthrough, I killed him and I got the giant dad mask and I was like, yes. <laughs> and uh, Pinwheel. Yeah. Pinwheel teaches you that sometimes you got to be aggressive because the yeah. only way you can really lose to Pinwheel is if you let him summon his like clone things. Yeah, and they overwhelm you. But yeah. he's a pushover otherwise. Yeah, his law's kind of <laughs> interesting because he has like three masks on its body, and then supposedly it was like one. There's like a father, a child, a and a mother, mother and, and then son. they get fused into one twisted yeah. thing. And well, yeah, Dark Souls, Dark Souls lore is crazy. Mm. Oh, it's no, it's pretty not. good though. It's pretty pretty um, good. Um, just gonna not. I'm just gonna not talk. Why? We got say. It's we we know what Carl's gonna say. I can tell from the picture. It's gonna be something down bad. You don't want my opinion on that. Come on, that's better and good, and then we can move on. You've intrigued me now. Why is he good? It's not. It's not a good fight. Pretty. She can go invisible at times. She's like a reaper's scythe. It's. It doesn't. She's not, not even that an interesting. Boss. She's I, just there, like, please leave. Fifteen foot tall, white, white hair, <laughs> barefoot lady. That's I'm, I'm done. That's I it. I mean, you don't. Yeah, you don't really need to say more. <laughs> She's just like a little pale I, giant he, woman with her tail. Fair, Call, Colin DJ brings up a good his, point. Like, yeah, going to talk about her being barefoot. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> if someone would. I'm going to steal a joke from uh, another comedian I saw. Where he said, um, "That person is so white, he got off with a warning." <laughs> um, it's kind of, of yeah. Speaking of getting off the morning, Dark Sun Gwendolyn. 
just put, I just actually put them don't. Next to it, I think this is a bad fight, honestly. This one is actually yeah. kind of, you just basically chase and hide behind them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that fight. Like, as a, the most interesting. Yeah, go sorry. Oh, sorry. No, you. you I'd cut you off. Uh, is a, I think it's just he has a. He she, she has an interesting design, but then it was. He, I, I, it's not clear in the. Gwyn it's like son, it's meant to be. Gwyn, it's Gwyn's son he raised as a daughter. Yeah, so it's meant he, to be like he, ambiguous. Uh, so look, it's, I'm it's just saying. Fight. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Wood. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Okay. Gwendolyn's annoying because mate tricked oh, me, yeah. tricked me my first playthrough, and I thought that Gwendolyn was real, and I was like, "Oh no, those mummy milkers are fake." No, <laughs> yeah, I'm that's angry. true. That's is a he's catfish. Can we please put it in bad then? Because it's not an enjoyable fight. It's just no, a basically a dash and hide behind a corridor. Hmm. Yeah, and lies. Um, see, speaking of lies, ceaseless discharge. Ceaseless. There was very bad. little. It sounds. It I sounds. Remember. Gross. <laughs> the funniest, the, the best thing about that boss is its name. It's yeah. funny. <laughs> you don't even have to fight this oh, one gosh. if you don't want to. Yeah. Um, it's just there. Yeah. This is no. essentially just it's like a giant humanoid lava <laughs> beast thing, and essentially he has chaos magic that went awry in him, and he's a monster. Yeah. The like fight is basically abscess. all he, all he does is just slam down his like arm and use some fiery stuff it's again it's a bad fight it's and not... he only attacks Thank you if either you attack him or you loot his sister's corpse or something like that like, yeah as most Fair people as, you know Fair play. something that could get someone going though i don't even remember this fight this is basically the stray demon but they gave him fire Bomb fire in it oh fire. yeah yeah I it's, uh, next to the, it's exactly the same fight uh centipede demon, centipede demon. Yeah. Okay. this one's forgettable isn't it this one is so forgettable. Its design is pretty mm. cool, which makes it all the more impressive that you forget it exists. Yeah, <laughs> uh, hate it. Especially I'm if you haven't like sorted yeah. out the lava and it's a really, really narrow. Uh, space yeah, that's pain true. Out. You get the lava ring, bed and of, then you basically don't. bed of chaos is oh even worse. Bottom. It's horrible. That's it's the, the worst rubbish. fight in Dark Souls history. Yeah. For those who are Terrible. listening, you don't know. It's just a mechanic where you basically is is a is again like an environmental dodging boss yeah, fight. Yeah. You run over, whack a few vines and then eventually you once. get to this like seed thing and then you basically give it one hit and it and dies i yeah. think there's also like then, a bit where you can jump over the gap if you're quick and you can just go straight oh, to yeah. it and just go poof. and it went once you know that it's not so bad but it's like it's still just a waste of my time why did you put this here yeah. it's rubbish. it's been like a very important law wise boss battle and then it just ends up being yeah, it, awful it's the source of all demons and as a fight at best it's boring at worst yeah. it's just miserable yeah and oh dragon i never actually fought calamy this I one is so tough this is the end of the dark souls one dlc mm. and it's like a dragon that's been corrupted by the dark this one is so tough but yeah. i still have only killed it like once yeah. uh <laughs> the fight is interesting though because you can like there are some good mechanics in it environments decent designs good i, I just put it in bottom of I, I, why is priscilla in good Get Priscilla. Out of there. <laughs> That's horrific. Dragon, <laughs> <laughs> dragon Calamite can get into, oh, I think, below yeah. Ornstein and Smoke, but above the Gaping Dragon. Right. Okay. Oh, it's a tough fight. So it's a really good. tough you fight. Why? Um, four Kings. You know why? DPS check. D yeah, it's the DPS check. <laughs> yeah. Just smack them in the face until they die. Who cares? There's four of them. Yeah. It's hard if you're doing a Dark Souls challenge run. Otherwise, it's. Yeah. The Just design is cool, though, to be fair. Yeah. The design is very cool. Like, what, what, what if Bring Me the Horizon cool. was a boss fight? Like, cool, right. Um, See the right. Scalus is a dragon fight that's basically oh. not a dragon fight. Oh, I hate him. Especially that first time you have to, like, die. You know, oh, this is annoying. Well. Yeah, that's bullshit. It's kind of annoying. I think it's funny for, like, people who do, like, no death runs in Dark Souls is actually not possible because of the death there. So, I think there is like a weird exploit, but I think it's more of a certain I do think it's right, yeah. I do think it's slightly above dark. I think it, in bad, put it in bad, but under the Capra Demon. Because the Capra Demon is somewhat of like a challenge, whereas Seed the mm. Scales is more of a just hit the tuning fork once and then Yeah, and then wail on him. Yeah. <laughs> Grave Lord Nito? I think he's pretty neato. His design is really yeah. cool. He's basically just yeah. a giant undead. Like, as in, like, an undead giant, you know what I mean? So he was, like, a giant who then got turned into, like, an undead like, thing. You know, the Oogie Boogie Man from Nightmare Before, just just skeletal version of him. Just big oh, and bloated, yeah. made of skeletal. It, the fight, the, the arena is kind of boring. Yeah. I won't lie. I, I mean, think it's a top... Be, yeah, go it's, it's, a, it's a crypt. Sorry, I think it's top of okay, though. Top of okay, because yeah. it's, it's a bit of a hard 
line. You to put Priscilla above him. <laughs> no, 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 it's right, not. Man. That's not. Um, that's that's heresy. Oh, man. We have, have Mister Storyteller in our chat. Mm. Closer. Hello, gaming storyteller. Mm. He says just don't die. Um. Gwyn, parry this. <laughs> parry this, you filthy <laughs> casual Gwyn. But Gwyn Gwyn is he's good. I, mean, I had to put it in legendary. Plim, plon, plan. I, I, Plim, plon, plan. I don't know, as a fight. Plim, plim. Come on. At least awesome. I understand yeah. he's got the funny he's parry, and it's like, oh, well, yeah. there goes a quarter of his health off the bat. Yeah. But, dude, plin, plin, plon. Yeah, plin, plin, plon. <laughs> okay. Oh. Gonna pin that one. That song begins. is good, though, to be fair. And then when it comes in in Dark Souls 3, you just... Uh, yeah, you I have see. A, you we'll, have we'll, we'll be coming back to that. Um, <laughs> Sanctuary <laughs> Guardian. Mad. Which one's this? It's not fun. This thing is in the bottom of Awful. I, I, I'm ashamed to admit this, but as someone who's played every single Dark Souls, Bloodborne, you name it, the most I've ever died to a boss was the Sanctuary Guardian. <laughs> trying to place it. Which one is this? Because one? I had a Halberd build, it's... and I still, <laughs> I think it was something like Google. forty times, and I'm embarrassed about it. It's like the, <laughs> you know, the <laughs> what, fuck, what is it based off? Oh, it's oh, a, it's uh, like a Greek oh, yeah. monster. Chimera? It's based off, yeah, yeah Manticore, Chimera or Manticore. Like that. Manticore Chimera, one of those things. Yeah. It's based off that. I don't. It's it's not. It is not worse than the bed of chaos. At least it's an actual fight. Yeah, far enough. But uh, honestly, there's some proper bias on my side here because. Oh, I don't blame you. When we get to Dark Souls three, you're going to see bias. <laughs> but... <laughs> Artorius is an SSS tier, whatever. No, no. Yes, it is a fun awesome. fight. He's an awesome. He's an awesome. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Above more than his he, yeah. The reason why I hate him so much is because you know the <laughs> thing where he he does a, like a front flip and then slams oh, the sword yeah. on the ground. The amount of times he does that is just however many he feels like. So it's like, oh, he's going to do two. All right, I can handle two. Quick little run, quick little dodge. Except now he's doing six, and I have no stamina because I plan for the mm -hmm. attacks to be actual, make sense. And he just decided he's trying out for the Olympics, and he's going to front flip until I, <laughs> I explode. I have no stamina, and I must roll. Yeah, but the fact is you can also get... <laughs> I mean, from that fight, you can have a sword, and then you do that exact move yourself. So don't, yeah, don't but only if you have it in the left hand. Rather than he's right. so cool. I love him. His lore is great. That boss fight made me want to tear my hair out. Speaking Most of entirely because, because of that fucking trouble. flip. Oh, no, that this... fucking flip. Manus, <laughs> this one is tough. Oh man, that will give me trouble. Mm. It's kind of the. I put it above dra... above the dragon calamite. calamite. Because right. the design of him is kind of wacky and cool. The, the boss design has the, like environmental stuff, but then it's mostly like you're battering this like horrifically fast thing. Hmm. It is fun, but again, it's so tough. I I, I still have like nightmares about that. One, how many times that took me? Not as much wow. the sanctuary guard any day. So we're on we're on Dark Souls two. So oh, last here we giant. go. Lol. I may know like one of these. kind of average. I, average. Yeah. He's there. He's just there. You kind of just wail on him like while he's. Uh, <laughs> he. I appreciate him being well. there. Yeah. No, nah, but I put put that one in bad. Yeah. Put that one in bad. That was the worst <laughs> one. <bro. laughs> that one's. Remember when it was two? How about six? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the pursuer. This guy gave me so <laughs> much trouble, dude. Give him, give him good. awesome. Give him, okay, give him an awesome mm -hmm. at least. Yeah, I'm gonna no, when he, maybe a good. At least he's fairer than he that, looks cool. He looks I can't really give cool. him more than Ornstein and Smo. Why this not? He's way character. better. Or well, you have like to put put Ornstein and Smo in awesome. No, I'm not. You have to. No, you have I'm to. not. He, I hate have them. you guys seen Happy Souls? If you haven't watched Happy Souls, <laughs> here's your reminder to <laughs> yes. watch your yearly Happy Souls. We do the oh, pursuit really? bit is so funny yeah. in that. And I like how you can yeah. fight him. And if you if you fight him early and you damage him enough and he runs away, you get stuff. It's like, oh, that's like a cool thing. That's why he's called the Pursuer. Because <laughs> is this him again and again. too easy for you? Hmm. <laughs> Um, these are out of order, I'm afraid. Uh, Throne Watcher, Watcher and Defender. These are the ones just oh, before the last boss. Oh, that's like the second boss. to let, yeah. yeah. Which one's that one for? It's like the two guys before you kill the last boss. In the same room. Oh. Yeah. The three yeah. Oh. yeah. These guys look pretty generic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah they're, they're okay. Average. They're the most okay of, or, or, yeah, most game. average. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the Rotten. It's okay. Is this the guy who's? Oh no, this is the one that's in the. Uh... He's a pile of bodies. Yeah, he's a yeah. He's Whoa, the reborn the soul of uh, Nito. He's like um, you know those yeah, canned freaks. sausages, like hot dogs. It's like, what if you put all of them into a? Big I don't pile? think the fight's good. The fight's not <laughs> that like exciting, that. though. I'll be honest. No, he's, he's got a cleaver, of course. 
I think his, I know a lot of people I, farm him because he's a really easy I, boss. Top of average. I like his fight because it's you can use him as part of Luca Deal's quest line, mm. and that is a really sad, really good quest line. Oh, makes me sad now. The Duke's dear Freya. I I can't even remember this one. I, it's a big spider with two heads. Yeah. And there's 500 oh, mini spiders. I love big spiders. Oh, now I do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's it's not fun. At yeah. best, where's, it's on fun. You know, at this worst. might be out of pocket, but where's the big fucking rat? The where's the rat? big? Oh, dude, rat it's coming. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> Royal rat authority. This is it's just a big rat. <laughs> it's <laughs> Sif rat. worse. Nah, it. put him next to Sif for the memes. No, no he's just, no, is, I no, hate that just, fight because it's so. Like, he's gonna rush the big rat. He's just a rat. Oh, smelter demon. That one's that one's tough. Good. Bottom of right. awesome, I would say. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What makes it so tough is the movement in Dark Souls Two doesn't quite <laughs> help. <laughs> yeah. Skeleton, Skeleton lords. lords. I would say they're okay. They're not the most inspired and not the most fun, but I don't have a. I've never had an unfun time fighting the Skeleton Lords. Mm, they're just yeah. there. They're just there. Yeah, it's so the three skeletons, sure. oh, legendary, 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 legendary. He he is a bloodborne boss who got lost and wandered into Dark Souls <laughs> yeah. too. And look at that! That's <laughs> and if you manage to uh, kill him without Ghost. taking any damage, he does a uh, sepulchre, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that boss fight is so cool. Hard as hell, but it's yeah. cool. It reminds me of Infinity Infinity Blade. Is that a terrible thing to say? The mobile <laughs> game Infinity Blade. Yeah, I <laughs> that. Well, Infinity Blade went hard, so no. Yeah, this is the slumbering it. dragon. This is the one who has like poison gas leaking out of it. I don't even remember this fight. This is inside one of the DLCs. Too. That's how mediocre <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, oh, awful. This one's, this one's in the good. Opium Lady. Good. Good. No, good. Why? Not good. Why? <laughs> why? What, what answer do you think? Oh, you guys know what? We need good. We need tier list for Collins down bad. No, no, no. Just like a line in here. I, I I wouldn't even put her in average bottom of average if she's gonna be an average. Yeah. Oh, Ruin Sentinels. 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 I, average. Nah. It's not nah. memorable really. This one. It's the first time you do. It's it's a solid fight. After that, it's just kind of yeah, average, average in the way. Royal, Royal Red, Red Vanguard. Vanguard. Oh. I love Skaven. I love Skaven. It's not Skaven. It's not. <laughs> Five hundred <laughs> rats. It's just rats. It's a bad put fight. Come on, put him in bad. Put him in bad at least. Put him in bad. It's him funny because you feel bad for him. Yeah, it's funny. He's not above Seath the Scaleless or Gwyn or oh, the Four oh, Kings. Oh, Are these just oh, rats? Royal someone, rat is so, someone, I see the rest of you aren't rat maxing. <laughs> <laughs> if this is above Four Kings. I'm gonna lose it. That is. This looks honestly. so goofy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Come on, fifty rats. <laughs> The disrespect to Gloinborg, or whatever his name oh, is, is man. high on this. Gloingob. Gloingob. How dare you? <laughs> disrespect to Gloingob with that Our statement. new lord and saviour, Gloingob. Have oh, this next, thing, this next thing kind of looks like a squig. Covetous it's demon. Human. Covetous demon. It's bad. That's okay. It's just it's, a big slug. It's okay. It's, put him at top of bad, because he's just big and fat and unfun to fight. But he's <laughs> just Jabba the Hutt in Dark Souls. He's, like, fair he's funny to look at. Prowling oh, Mega. Oh, this is the, the, the worst <laughs> awful. <laughs> you just no, kill a choir him, church. A church put, choir. put him top of awful because it's a. It's not an. It's uncreative. Yeah. It's not a fun fight, but it's not hard. Yeah, like, it's, it's not a bad more than time. Bad. Um, it's not. It's, it just takes up your time. Old Iron King. King cool. This is meant to be Gwyn, apparently. Yeah, uh, reborn. <laughs> it's not an awesome <laughs> fight, unfortunately. Good. I think it's good. It's good. Bottom, bottom of good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a big. It's yeah. cool as a spectacle, but as a fight, it's kind of. Eh. Oh, I mean, dragon it's like slayer! Things where oh, it's just God. a big thing with clubbing hands. Oh, dragon slayer! This is just um, this is just old, this is old Ornstein, but he doesn't have. <laughs> there's no smog. Yeah, there's no yeah. smog. That's why this is this is why I don't I like actually, Ornstein. Honestly, it on it the road, bad. it's not a problem. But when there's two of them, it's bullshit. I think you put it in bad, honestly. This one because it's actually the fact that it's missing. He's smog. really early on as well, isn't he? Like yeah, so he's kind of boss. weak. He, the the worst thing about that boss fight is the Drake you have to get past. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get there, it's like eh. you just snipe him out with an early boss? cross, but like a bow. Sorry. Ooh, like Nashandra, the final boss Wood? of the base game. <laughs> okay, okay. I've seen pictures of this right now. <laughs> Don't I say that, Colin? <laughs> you would not. Nashandra is filth in the Discord or something. Don't What's test going on me. Nashandra is an okay fight, <laughs> but then it comes immediately after the other ones. Yeah. yeah so it's. Put them there. 
Better I don't think people were like that excited about it. She's supposedly like a corrupted oh, piece of um, Manus or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Me is just Fa? Medusa. Yeah, oh, this, yeah, this is oh, yeah, whatever. Thing. Average. Yeah. Yes. Lud and Zalan, the king's pet. Oh, are these, these the um the wolves, the ice wolves. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, this one. Actually, no, yeah. put this in awful because this one's actually like they just keep disappearing on you, and it's yeah. so annoying. Uh, yeah. Lost sinner. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. It's it's a decent fight. Yeah, it's unfortunately. Okay. Which one's it meant to be? The that's uh, supposed to be the witch of Isolith. Yeah, I mean, so to fair, I say, it's meant, it's meant to be like a worse iteration of another fight, but it's not worse than the Chaos Bed one. It's impossible to be, almost impossible to be worse than Better Chaos. Yeah. That almost is coming back, by oh, the way. Oh, looking glass night, night, we put awesome. him in Legendary. I love him. That one is so cool. That one is there was, um There was a gaming iconic. convention before the release, and they were like, if you can mm. beat the Looking Glass Knight, you win like a t-shirt or something. And like, no one could beat it. Cool. <laughs> oh, poor guy. And you can summon it's... in other players, and it's a bit of a dick, but still. Oh, I cool. I know that's such like a, in some ways it's a crutch, but it's so cool knowing that if uh, someone else is part of that, that can just be another player who's like, hey, nice boss fight. I'm gonna ruin it for you. <laughs> like it's just so. Fun. He literally has a mirror shield that he can reflect and sort of cool. shoot things, and it's pretty cool. Guardian dragon. Oh, is this? <laughs> it's is a this dragon. The one, it's the one on the. the <laughs> it's the in the cage. Yeah, it's in, like, the cage, the cage yeah. arena. Average, uh, actually, no, it's I, okay. It's actually I, okay. It's better than Skeleton Lords. I I would put that one in average. No, it's better than and, Priscilla. It's better the than only Priscilla. Reason, the only the reason I say average is because in my experience, eighty percent of the time he's not on the ground. He's just shooting fire at you. <laughs> it's not hard to yeah. dodge. It's just like I can't hit you. You won't come down. <laughs> yeah, fair which enough. to be fair. I, if I was a dragon, I wouldn't come down either. I'd just breathe fire yeah, the whole fight, like the but it's fly. annoying. It's like, I'll just shoot you. Like, yeah, I'll it's like, I don't blame you for it, but it's not fun. Flexile uh, Sentry. This is I a weird looking... Remember this one. Thing. It's, it's like, the one, like Siamese uh, twins? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's two, like, they oh, have they the like, same rotate. pair of legs, but it's two bodies. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, it's average. It, yeah. The only thing cool about it is in the boss fight arena, it's slowly filling up with water. Yeah, so the longer you take, the slower you get. Cool. Kind yeah, of which is neat because it's like an I'll actual here. time oh, it's pressure. It's not okay. as good as the rest of those. And okay, uh, right, well, <laughs> Beyblade yeah. boss. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> these ones are funny. These ones are. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> give, give, <laughs> give that one. Give that one awesome. This is it's no. funny. <laughs> Eli, for reference, this one's just it's a um just a circle arena. So the arena is like a loop, mm -hmm. and basically there's just chariots running, and essentially you have to run to the point where you can basically trip it up and then smack it to death. <laughs> So but you get yeah. but you get run over so much. There's not, there's not enough room, man. You're gonna have to find another hole. I don't have time to find. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's just a dodge. It's a dodge game. That one. It's funny though. The yeah. first time you do it. Dark Souls huh. two haters when Happy Souls is the best thing to ever come out of Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dragon Rider. Pretty Which one is the Dragon Rider? Again? It's a talisman character. He, he's the. One he's the He's the one that can kill himself if you run in yeah. a very specific pattern. He just swings and falls off the arena. <laughs> yeah, the big chunky guy who's next to uh, Ormstein uh, 2.0. Yeah. So otherwise, he's just... Yeah. A dragon? Yeah. Be rubbish. Otherwise, he's just... He's there. He's not oh, unpleasant. Oh, Demon of Song. This ugly-looking... <laughs> Dude, that thing... Put it put it in great. <laughs> no, it's awful. <laughs> it's rubbish. It's, yeah, it's, it's ugly to look fight, at, but it's so ugly fun. Looking. It's oh, it's freaky. Fight and it's boring. That's it's so weird. It's bad for his design, at it least. Can, like, like, that design uh, is, like... It, like, shots design. his face away. It's so That's bad. crazy. Like, Nurgle demons wish they could be that. Like, yeah. Just it's like the dark dark Lurk is a good mouth. You can't fight. It. Dark that Lurk. A... And you need to put the effort in just to get to that fight. Like, it's the end <laughs> yeah. of a long quest. Yeah. Oh, and good. Put it in good, sure. Put it in yeah. good. Come on. Put them in good. Above Old Iron King, because Old Iron King is just Bowser's castle. Uh... What's that? Sarah Vargan Grave Robber. I can't even remember, I remember that one. If I can't remember it, it's probably not that important. Uh, yeah. Isn't it just an NPC? <laughs> like a, like These a look Dark like Dark Souls, Souls like player characters. Yeah, like a player character <laughs> boss. Oh no, they're uh they're the gang squad and part of the Dark Lurker like yeah. quest line. Oh, oh, the they're that. Up on you. Well I guess they're best they're basically dark starters. Kind of a big bone. Is that yeah. His... yeah. Oh no, that's Havel's set. 
Well, yeah. yeah. Twin dragon, dragon riders. So I'm just right next to the dragon yeah, rider. There's this guy and a friend. <laughs> now there's two of them. Um, oh, I do remember those, but that that one's inside, isn't it? Yeah, and you have to knock the dragon off is bad. This uh, is a bad fight because honestly, bad. the amount of health this thing has is it's just a dragon just that sits there. Off. Giant Lord, I like the Giant Lord. Giant Lord, I like that oh, he's, he's cool. It's it's, he looks like a uh, ring wraith kind of. Yeah, it's, it's the last giant, and that's why he gets so mad when you see him. And the you know, rampart the first fight, time you fight, him. Is, fight him on his cool, and you can like farm him for loads of souls. I used to farm this boss <laughs> ages. And. His quest is part of the Moonlight Greatsword. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Uh, Velstat. I think he's cool. He's got a big hammer. He's good. This guy's pretty. I'd say uh, he's good. Pretty. He do the war hammer. He has a big hammer. He's gold. He's on the DLC. On the... No, he's just before the. Before Vendrick. Yeah. He's yeah. Before him. the stuff. His design is pretty. I cool. should have. I should have said this Vendrick. much earlier, but if uh, with Sir alone, if you put on any song from Metal Gear Rising, the fight <laughs> is just perfect. <laughs> yeah. Now the Vendrick, Vendrick's, Vendrick's an interesting bad. character, but his Whoa. fight is bad. It's just an just old a guy dragging a sword yeah. around, and you can't hurt him unless you have done, if, uh, the souls of the the, the I, giants. Yeah, well, you can hurt him. It's just like he has five million percent damage reduction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he won't okay. attack you because he's like, you're not even scratching me. The next team, night, oh, the next team, these things are so tough. Love him. You want bias? Fuck the fume knight. I hate him. He's awful. I go in the arena and I get sodomized. Yeah, I know. He is really cool and it's a good kind of sodomized, I think. It's like, yeah, I hate him to fight, but also respect. I put him, him. in awesome. He cannot be on the same tier as Sir alone. Fine. Um, burnt Ivory He's above Gwent. I'm. Mm. <laughs> right, right, calm, calm down. Calm burnt Ivory King is kind of cool because you can, like if you play it well enough, you can actually have some allies. So yeah. I uh, love. I think that's how you're supposed to do it, because there's like he has he is a bunch of lieutenants. The biggest so Chad in Dark Souls. <laughs> Why? The power of his love made a shard of the pure abyss be a good person. Yeah. She, he saved Aww. her from being inherently evil. He saw that the demons were encroaching in his land. He's like, All right, I'm going in. I'm gonna sacrifice myself. I built this great kingdom. I'm charging in head first and I'm shutting the door behind me. I'm going to nice hold the blind forever. <laughs> so because why of how him? awesome he was. You, you kill him because he's been trapped in demon land for like ever. Yeah. So, so he's kind of went a bit nuts. Alana, hate Alana. Rubbish. Okay. Uh, she's mid. 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 Um <laughs> Aldia, the scholar of the first sin. It's not uh, a great fight. It's an average bad. fight. He's just a blob. I give him Put him at the top of average because the first time you go to light a bonfire and that bastard jumps out is horrifying. <laughs> He's just a you're like, oh my god, what is mess of a thing. <laughs> yeah. I do love his lore because he's the brother. I, I love brother that he's of like, Vendrick, isn't he? Or the uncle of he, yeah, he's Vendrick's brother. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to find a way out of the cycle of light and dark, which I think is very cool. And I wish Dark Souls 3 expanded on that yeah. and not just went, hey guys, wasn't Dark Souls 1 fun? It's just a shame <laughs> he looks like a prolapse. Um, DS, who's last one? Arva the King's pet. Don't really like Arva. It's just a dog. I hate it, that it's, one. It's cat. sad. It's sad because you no. Know, it's not an average. I think it you know, lower. It's just an a big beast. Somewhere. It's like a like a big wolf uh, yeah. or a big dog or a big cat. It's just the same thing with a reskin. Put Who it cares? put it above the dragon riders, but behind Executioner's Chariot because uh, Executioner's Chariot is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Like Dragon the Executioner Chariot is a bad fight, technically. That's not even really a fight, but it's still funny just because <laughs> the amount of people get run over. All right, almost there. Dark Souls Three. Uh, Judex Gundir. Actually, uh, to be fair, it's a, a fun. It's a good boss. fight for your first your first boss battle in like the first five minutes, and it's yeah. actually quite decent. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's a yeah. You do it twice as well, don't you? Yeah. Well, you say that. That's a different Gundir. His champion. Wow. Champion Gundir is a whole different beast. Yeah, that guy's good fight. Better. Uh, I want to say like. Uh, no, I wouldn't put him that high. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. He's got like a nice right. move set, and he's nimble. Um, Vorp of the Boreal Valley, big chunky turtle man. Oh, this like guy him. who, if you. He's. he's... It's so average. Like, I think yeah. it's average. Top of average, I'd say. Top of average. Yeah. Top, Top of, of average or bottom of okay. Uh, his bottom theme of song okay. is awesome. Yeah. Um, he's, like, he's, just a, he's just a crawling great. fat knight, essentially. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, when running. he goes, when he hits second phase and he goes nuts, he get, he gets fast. He starts yeah. tearing across the arena. <laughs> Big mace. Half light is that? Half light spear of the church. Eh, oh, I bad. think that's like the looking nest or looking glass knight, but less. Yeah, less Yeah, yeah. Kind of rubbish. Sister yeah. Frida, 
Oh, my all right. God. This way might... is hell, but yeah. good in a good way. It's a it's a, it is a legendary. Be honest, I... it's a legendary fight. Yeah, horrible, but it is legendary. <laughs> I would put her top of good because the first phase, after enough tries, is just time wasting. Yeah. She has three phases. And not even from a difficulty standpoint, from a wasting my time standpoint, yeah. I feel like that's just too many. But at least she's better than the first Smile phase gets old. Speed. But it's, it's yeah. not like the first Bloodborne style fight in the end of that Dark Souls. I feel like I'm gonna, gonna get yelled at. There's some mad people, I think. If you night is baller, get Ben Kong. That's the first thing I see. All right. <laughs> Chad Miyazaki is simply forgetting Dark Souls 2. <laughs> he wasn't on the <laughs> development for Dark Souls 2, was he? Because he was working on Bloodborne and like, the groundwork yeah. for that. And uh, they pumped that out the game out a year earlier than they were expecting because they were trying to get sales and money. And they were like, "Oh, oh no, it's not ready." Be so much weird noises. <laughs> it feels like Star Wars Two feels clunky Ooh. in that regard, and there's way too many bosses. I'm just oh, going to move my microphone for a minute just because my my laptop is making squealing noises. But keep oh, no, going. I think it's fine. We can, uh, we can hear. So I yeah, can we can hear. Uh, Pontiff Sullivan. This guy is kind of cool. It's like he's a, the dual wielding one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's dual wielding, and halfway through the fight, he gets like his stand, his ghost version of him. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, he's good. Yeah, maybe above champion Gundir. Oh, Gundir. No, no, he's no, not. I, I think it's a more enjoyable Gundir. fight than that. Do you? I love champion Gundir. Oh, I'll, I, we'll leave it there then, at least. <laughs> it's in a good spot. <laughs> and then old Demon King. This one is. It's basically like the stray demon again, but a little bit from, more mechanics thrown in. From the perspective of Dark Souls lore, I love that fight. It's the last of the demons, like yeah, going up to fight you. Uh, but from a fight, it's it's eh, it's whatever. It's okay, yeah. But then like the place it takes place, like the, the arena and the, the moves it does, the design, it's pretty. There's also yeah. one, isn't there? Like a mini one you can fight before that as well, like hidden away in. You can fight another asylum demon in Dark yeah, Souls three. Randomly, <laughs> he's, he's back. I don't think having a, he's not like a proper boss battle though. He's just kind of there. Oh, I seriously consumed. This is the big skeleton. Yeah. If I'm right, this one is kind of a bad fight because he, he's the dragon guy who's like looking for his invisible baby kid. Oh no, this is oh, this is yeah, this, this is not the one I was thinking of. Um, yeah. I think it's average. The, the it, next one is who you're thinking of. Yeah, this one is a bad. Uh, put the Osiris one in middle of average somewhere, I think, just because it's it's okay. But again, it's it's like weird. The only thing I remember about it is him going ocelot. Where's my child, ocelot? And it's like <laughs> that's pretty much it. This the, this one is bad. This is basically a, a undead giant. <laughs> Don't <laughs> that, you touch that car. <laughs> no, but it, it just sit. All it does it sits on the edge of a ledge, and you have to like destroy his jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't actually like <laughs> properly fight him. Yeah. So it's kind of bad. Oh. Curse Rotten Greatwood. <laughs> that one's just as bad. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's a gimmick. That one. You basically beat, of... you know some people say beating a dead horse, you're beating a dead tree. <laughs> you're 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 popping the ball sacks on a tree. <laughs> basically. Uh is that the champion Gathit and Wolf? I like the weapon DLC? that fight gives you. Otherwise it's annoying. I think this is one from the DLCs, maybe. It is. Yeah, uh, it's in the uh, ruined, the painted world DLC with uh, Sister Freed. Uh, average, yeah. I just again, it's not memorable. Demon, oh, the Demon Prince slash Demon Princes. Oh yeah, yeah that's the <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> it's kind of cool. This one though, it is kind of cool. cool. I bet it's okay. Depending, depending on which one you kill first, the uh, the game either turns into dodge the big laser or it's a bullet hell shoot game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I can't even I never remembered like which one I had to kill first. So I was just whole hogging it. Into the deep, put him in legendary. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you know I made a joke earlier about you have to kill a church choir. This is literally you know that scene in Kingsman where he just goes against the congregation. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> just that. <laughs> Except oh, there's yeah. five hundred of them, so sometimes the one you need to kill gets stuck in their fat. <laughs> The, the gimmick is like they keep reviving, and like one of them is essentially hmm. holding the true power. You have to kill him, and then if you oh, take wow. too long, if you take too long in that fight, you act, they just summon like an insta death. <laughs> yeah. So it's like dance with that. Uh... This one is the same as um, what was the one we said earlier, Pontiff Sullivan. I feel like people love this fight, 
and I feel like you so much of that. I feel it's not a bad fight. I just feel like so much of the hype comes from the fact that the first time you fight it is you're talking to an NPC and yeah. then you get jumped. And it's also like an interesting design for an NPC or for a boss. I think that kind of yeah. overshadows the actual fight. It's like, oh, it looks cool. It's like, yeah, it does look cool, but mm. fun fact though, the uh the NPCs, like those ghosts you see leaving uh what is not an Orlando, yeah. the Iceland. Um it was an I, I think. Aero Whatever Boria. it is, the two NPCs. Oh, yeah, uh, the it, the boreal something, yeah. Aurora borealis. So the, they're the boreal knights, aren't they? Yeah, the uh, two of the ghosts you see are uh, the dancer and uh, Vort, uh, walking away before they're mutated. Just cool. Crystal sage. This one is kind average. of average. It's so mid. It's the bottom of average, honestly. This one. <laughs> it is, it's, it's, it's just an, It's literally mid. floating, floating wispy Gandalf, and he. Occasionally... <laughs> Like throwing his flippers at you and like just throwing <laughs> beams at you. Ancient, Ancient Wyvern. Wyvern. Whatever. One is this one? I don't it's think... the one where if you jump on its head, you insta kill it. Otherwise, it's oh got yeah, five it's a bad. But it's not bad because so, again, yeah. this is actually you don't you don't properly fight it. You just leap off a ledge and kill it instantly. Dark Humidideer is bottom yeah. of awful I worst know. single boss fight <laughs> in Dark Souls. I fucking I stopped playing Dark Souls three for six months. <laughs> I hate Madeir <laughs> because you go to fight him, he's got 10 million health. Yeah. So you think, oh, you'll take a weapon that'll, you know, does extra damage to Dark. Oh, good. He's down to 5 million health. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Can we put him and, in uh, you go... bad next to the ancient dragon? Because essentially they're the no, same he's, pain. He's awful. He's awful. He's the worst <laughs> fight in all of Dark Souls. Because you know what happens? You go to fight him. Oh, I'm a melee build. So, oh, good. Half of my screen is this dragon's foot. I can't yeah. see <laughs> any of his tag patterns. He goes to do his breath attack. Oh, I'll run to the left. Doesn't work. I'll run to the right. That works. In the future, I'll run to the right. Oh, you run to the right next time he does it? No, you, you die. Doesn't work. Yeah, you I run behind say, him? Doesn't yeah. work. Toughest fight I've ever done in Dark Souls. It's just such a, And it's not because it's like a difficult mechanically. It's just it's got so much health and so many nasty little moves that are really difficult to dodge. And like, oh, it's just bad. I hate it. I think, Everyone brings I think up put his, it up his, into his... bad just because on DJB's makes a good point. The arena and like his movesets do, his design does look cool and it's not the same as <laughs> Crowley made it's, it's not you the same as Spence of Chaos. It is horrible. This fight uh... sucks. I stopped playing Dark Souls for months. What was it you said earlier this to Andy? You said to like almost <laughs> you said to get good. But this is <laughs> Yeah, but get yeah, good but, is all seen in smoke. But it's a similar thing of like oh, at least with all seen in smoke attack but it's annoying that there's two of them and they've got the attack patterns that they can just attack you both at once and you can't dodge that's annoying but this guy is worse and he's on his own everything everything you try against dark and Medir, he just goes no it doesn't work you got to do magic oh he's, he's resistant you gotta <laughs> do lightning oh it does extra hey, damage uh, he's not going anywhere work. Oh, anyway, I, hate to, harry, I hate to admit this oh we love it oh, go ahead we go love ahead, it Harry Ballantyne says, Colin's Dark Souls takes make his Warhammer takes look good. <laughs> First of all, fuck you. I will say, I had to admit something about the mid -ear fight, which is, um, I've only ever beaten him by using the, I think it's one of the spells, which is like the one, not the poison mist, but one of the other like damaging mist spells, because he just sits in it and he doesn't move from it. So I've I never even done it. All that's nicely. a good boss. Then if he can't actually fight it, you just have just to cast so, stuff at him. Honestly, only my friend, my good friend Matt, he's the only person I know who would actually like take him on and like do it with the melee <laughs> or, or something else. But I honestly, I was just, I cannot do that fight. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Nameless, Nameless King, King is though. is legendary. 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 Yeah, I'll put him easy. At the top of top. He's so you, you can I'm fight him quite early. That. Actually, you can fight him relatively early on if you wanted, and he is tough because he's in an optional area you don't even know he's there although it is a bit sad that we all thought solaire was gwyn's son and actually it's this guy like, oh but we like solaire <laughs> he did ruin the i that's i like solaire but that's okay because this guy's like hey uh you know how all the gods are insane and gone i'm not i'm gonna kick your ass <laughs> abyss watches are kind of they're, they're a bit iconic i will say they're they're, they're in good they're, they're awesome i really yeah. like him their uh, fight is fun. They're not the most difficult, but their fight is just so fun. Their moveset is kind of the Artorius thing, though, isn't it? They have, like, weird... It's, it's what I like. It's the aspects of Dark Souls 3 that I like, because oh. it took, like... Yeah, sorry, I'll do the next one, and I'm getting triggered. <laughs> it, it was, uh, like, look, time has been going on so long. These myths that we revere, we don't even remember them right, which is why they have, like, the dagger, because they forgot Artorius had a shield. Because uh, he broke, he just broke his arm, which is why he doesn't have his great shield in the fight against him. That's why I like the Abyss Watchers. It's not Dark Souls Three, just 
jerking itself off, going, <laughs> wasn't Dark Souls 1 good? Now, th now this fight, Aldrich is Dark Souls 3 going, guys, wasn't fucking Dark Souls 3 so Dark Souls 1 was good, I, wasn't, this, wasn't Gwendolyn fun? I, I could not, <laughs> this one, I can't explain how, this is the only time I ever got angry at a video game. I'm like never angry in anything, like in my life, ever. Hmm. This is the only time I ever got angry at a video game because I was so And crap then how we shouted, you spunk bucket, I'll kill you, you <laughs> spunk <laughs> bucket. It's Gwendolyn, but he's fat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fat worm Gwendolyn, who basically, Supposedly in the lore, there was this priest who got a bit who had who had the ability to like devour things. He started devouring gods and he just got a bit fat. And then it was <laughs> No, who's a D was it well, Deacon or a bishop? I, I, DJ Beast defending Dark Eater Madeir. I'm gonna be outside of your house. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh Dragon Slayer, Slayer armor. armor. It's fine. I, I, it's slightly it, worse Ornstein. They it's keep okay. reusing it. It's bad on principle <laughs> because they keep reusing Ornstein. I'll put Stop. It, put it at the top of average. Because it, it if you didn't know any of like Dark Souls lore, it's still fine. And it's still a fun fight. It's not fine. It's the third game of the series and they keep reusing Ornstein. <laughs> it's better than the old Stop. Dragon Slayer. It's better than the old No, Dragon it's not. Slayer. It is. Because <laughs> at least the first time you fight him in Dark Souls 2, it's, hey, cool, Ornstein. By the third time, it's like, oh, good, Ornstein's back. And you know what? They reuse him a fourth time. <laughs> he comes back in Dark Souls. Yeah, 3. but this time he's got Again. different stuff. He's not using a. He has like a shield and stuff like that. It's a different fight. I he just looks. If it, his design looks it. different, he wouldn't complain. He's just being it's, chunky. Because it would be a different fight. But the whole reason, you know, you think it's a good fight is it's Ornstein again. Look, guys, Dark Souls One. It's so fun. I love Dark Souls One. I love Slop. <laughs> this is from the Slop Man himself. Uh, is Dark Souls Three? Is, is Dark Souls Three good? By the way, or is yeah. it bad? The what gameplay is, the is fun, but everything else is. Hey guys, wasn't Dark Souls one <laughs> great? It's back. Look, Andre's it's back, the, guys. You can come it's now. The Force Awakening <laughs> of Dark Souls. So it's the worst Dark Souls. Is that no, that's number two agreement? From a guy, fuck you. <laughs> from, a, from a gameplay perspective, Dark Souls two and let me is get, the let, worst. None of them are bad games. It's just it's <laughs> Dark Souls one is definitely the best one in terms of like creativity and originality three is like remember this remember that but it's got the best gameplay and two has really fun ideas but the execution is not perfect that's kind of the idea oh, lothric the younger print this what? one actually is quite a fun fight <laughs> this one is quite fun excuse me <laughs> i did enjoy this one lothric the younger prince that, i i like that fight i, I did thought like it was fun uh, yeah and then well the, the resurrection mechanic is kind of annoying but it does soul of cinder is legendary because yeah. when you get on the second cover. face, SDF. you get plin plin plon. Plin plon plon. Do not do not no, put him no, above no, 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 Nameless no, 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 King no, no, no. and Sir alone. He's, he's below Pinwheel at least. No, wait, Pinwheel. <laughs> Pinwheel's are put him above Tarkus. Put him above Tarkus. Oh, you're gone. And honestly, my favorite fight in the whole series. is Yeah, this is like there is. He's he's definitely. It's done so well. Yeah. I think he's the best way to end Dark Souls 3 and the series as a whole because it's two nobodies fighting for nothing at the yeah. end of the world. And also, <laughs> really fun phases, music's incredible. Oh, yeah. It's just... Although, I cool. don't think he should be the top of Legendary. Why? I'm going to be honest. I think Nameless King. He's... Yeah. Nameless King. Honestly, Sir Alone, too. He's yeah. like... Sir Alone is a... Sleeve Night yeah. Gale is a wonderful fight. It's just not as hard as I would want it to be from the last Dark Souls boss ever. I know, I had a I beat time. him in three tries, and he didn't kill me. I just teleported away because oh, I was Oh, screw you then. Okay, get someone yeah. someone's, someone can't bait, beat goddamn Dark Eater, but then he can <laughs> struggle. You know, this is like the, the hill He's to gone. die on, apparently. <laughs> oh, no, we lost Colin. <laughs> he gone, he gone. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, hey, he's Colin, about, he's you he's he's My dick. The internet, my uh, my take was so shit that it crashed my recording. <laughs> but I'm doubling down. I, I think with um with that though, that might be. I'm pretty happy with the list. I think. <laughs> DJ Colin fell off. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're assuming I was ever on to begin with. Uh, people listening now, put um, oh, give us some suggestions for tier lists you want us to see. We obviously have got a few in the bank. Epic rap battles is not forgotten before anyone. <laughs> I think SpongeBob's been mentioned. <laughs> um, we've got other ones. I think a few of them will have to keep surprises though. But I think um, 
<laughs> I think we're pretty happy with the list we did today, though. Although, to be fair, the Dark Souls one's got a bit. There's a can bit we, of opinion. Can we get an honorary quadruple S tier for every poison swamp Miyazaki throws into those fucking? <laughs> if there's Dude. a, I need a blood. We should do a Bloodborne one at least, or Bloodborne and Elden Ring one. <laughs> Yeah. And can we, yeah, can we also give an F for all the Titanite demons I've killed so far? There's like seven <laughs> Titanite demons. It's like, do I have to fight you again? When will you level learn? <laughs> Miyazaki gives his poisonous swamps to his darkest souls. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly what makes the um, also one in Dark Souls 3, the poison swamps before the... The Farron Abyss, or yeah. the Farron Keep. Farron Knight. That, that, that makes that fight worse, just because right of the poison. Right before the Abyss, you have to, to take... go through so much poison shit. <laughs> God, that was so painful, though. Dude, oh. Shout out to Blight Town for being awful. Someone did Sekiro as well. I've, I'm, oh, I'd love to do that yeah. as well. I did not get into Sekiro. I'll just not be honest. It. That one was a tough one. Me and my friends, when we, because we've done every single like Bloodborne thing before that, and like Blood and Dark Souls, and then Sekiro came along. We we're like, oh, this is like a new. This is not Dark Souls in a way. I have to like retrain how to fight in that one. Which is, Dark, you know. Dark Souls is like rolling. This one was like yeah. you have to stand your ground and parry. That's entirely fair. I just I didn't vibe with it. I mean, as well, I, I, I bit... haven't even played Bloodborne yet, just because I didn't have a PS. Yeah, I really want to. I'm, play in it. The, I'm in the same boat. I fought yeah. a couple oh, bosses. They, I got they're gonna to, do like, the cleric beast. Uh, they, they're gonna do a re, um, a PC. 60 frames. Oh, yeah, all right. That's the ultimate blood Bloodborne cult, bros. Cope yeah, PSC no, coming to. any Steam release coming any time, bros. 2024 is the year of the Bloodborne PC <laughs> if release. They can do a remake or like remaster of Dark Souls. I, you know, I hope Dark Souls One doesn't become the Skyrim of Dark Souls One. Yeah, oh, Souls. where it's like, have you guys? Hey, you're finally awake. It's the new version of Skyrim. <laughs> On, um, was it Oculus or something? Oh god. Oh, yeah. Rarest Pepe asked about Code Vein. Hey, it's Dark Souls with anime girls and shit. There's my take <laughs> on Code Vein. I had a friend who was trying to convince me. Yeah, it's fun. It's better than Dark Souls. No, it isn't. It's not. <laughs> this game sucks. I've tried playing Lord of the Fallen as well, and I hated that. I stopped. <laughs> That's <through>. also <laughs> Dark Souls, but worse. Yeah. It's just not aggressively anime, so I don't think it's as bad as Code Vein. <laughs> I honestly do think Sekiro, though. Sekiro is one of the few games where, like, a lot of they're showing like um percentages of how many players have completed the game like in dark souls or bloodborne sekiro is probably the lowest because mm. genuinely like i oh, the final fight i oh, know spoilers for anyone but the final fight in sekiro honestly is one of the few things i've not been able to do i just it's even to this day still can't still can't do it i, no. I i'm not and i'm only getting older so i'm not <laughs> getting any better at video games <laughs> so i'm, I'm honestly Tough. getting clapped Tough. Bro, when like a 16 year old or a 17 year old is on a video game and he uh, is running rings around me in <laughs> speed and aim. Oh, yeah, bad. video game years are like dog years. For, uh, <laughs> once, you, once you get over the age of 20. <laughs> ERB like, tier list is my Bloodborne PC bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it man. is. Where is Yorma? Was Yorma not on the list? He wasn't on the list. No, no Yorma the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> he's so big you'd see him sure. that's how it's, still, it's a bit of a gimmick that's fight that one just because you basically run up to the chair get the weapon and then delete his health in three <laughs> shoot big him hits. along with Sigurd it was just like oh remember that boss in Demon Souls where you got the Stormbringer we're doing that again but he's just a giant oh fun Great. except this time you have an onion bro with you <laughs> bro which is cool I thought it was the same Onion Bro, who's in Dark Souls 1 and then Dark Souls 3. But no, they're, they're just named so similarly. Like, Yeah, but guys, look, wasn't Dark Souls 1 good? Guys, look, Dark Souls 1. <laughs> look, guys, it was you love Dark Souls 1. You didn't like Dark oh, Souls 2. Man. Dark Souls 1, it's good. Mm. Guys, we love Dark Souls 1 here. Mm, still closed. Still the copium, closed. Is, the mm. copium was strong. <laughs> oh, what uh, are you doing here? I think, though, with that being said, has anyone else uh, got anything they want to add on? Or any other little tidbits? No? Still hates no, town or on Steam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I hope whichever design session, I wish whatever design session resulted in Madeir got like IED'd. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're doing a dragon again, but this time he's got a billion health. Uh, nice one, guys. Jesus. Yeah, way, way, to, way to fucking go, everyone. We Good should stuff. do a Elden Ring one at some point, though. Or just familiar, familiarize yourself with Elden Ring because that one We're is Don really S -S 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 tier. Yes, because the, the entire meteorite <laughs> the guy, the guy launched into space. Because you wonder where he went and then you look up. 
We just got, we just got to do like the NPCs as well and like put Pate and uh, Patches at number mm. SSS tier oh. just for being dicks. <laughs> my, my, my final word on this tier list is shout out to Boingob. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget. We need like a symbol. Never forget. Like, the boy, we need boing gob oh, fan art. <laughs> the the fat boing boy. Boing gob. Oh man, all of Lore Crimes' earnings going into that. <laughs> I think a lot of them, a lot of like the other podcast channels, they offer like, um, like they have art being made, and obviously it's maybe of the less reputable genres, shall we say. Mm. And if our first one is boing gob, yeah. <laughs> please give us boing gob. We'll get a 2025 calendar oh, just of boing gob. Yeah. <laughs> uh, boing gob <laughs> merch would be awesome. Mm. Although, to be fair, it's probably copyrighted, isn't it? Because it's actually copyrighted. Oh, this yeah, isn't boing gob, this is gob boing. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> going bob. <laughs> going bob. <laughs> That's my favorite oh, thing I've yeah. learned today. My favorite. <laughs> Maybe of the week, my favorite that, thing. <laughs> that, that, that broke me. Uh, uh, um, with that cow. being said, though, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And um, uh, more, obviously, another Iceberg episode coming next week. We've got obviously, more, more tier lists. Hopefully, have some guests on soon. And hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you made it this far, probably said it earlier. <laughs> um, please do like and subscribe. And... We are, I think we are on Spotify as well. So if you guys want to mm-hmm. hear us, you know, if you're offline working or something like that, you know, our degenerate voices are available. Um, <laughs> that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Love you. Bye. Long time. Take care. Praise Boingob. Praise Boingob. <laughs> <laughs> Praise. <laughs>